afternoon, good evening. <laughs> and good night. Good night. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us. Uh, tune in next week. We're going to have an awesome show. Uh, so uh, I can't care. believe it was that happened. Yeah, no, oh, God, let's start over. Hey, guys, welcome. It's done, it's over. <laughs> welcome to the log. official Paizo channel. My name is Tyler Rhodes, and tonight I'm going to be game mastering a game of Starfinder that goes by the name of Deep Water Deep. Deep Water Deep. There we go. We're back on track. It is the uh, it is the second season, and we are almost about halfway through. And guys, I'm really having a blast. I hope you're enjoying it too. Once again, thank you for joining us. Thank you for dragging yourselves away from uh, the fascinating, uh, what I'm sure is fascinating, State of the Union address that is happening right now, and choosing to spend your time with just filling your life with joy and love and caring and compassion and all the things that we hope to bring yeah. to you. So thank you. Uh, uh, the my the first thing I ever streamed on uh, on Saving Throw was a Shadowrun game uh, that occurred on election night. Uh, so, <laughs> so I, I have oh, a little boy. experience with uh, yeah. uh, trying to escape from the the nasty reality of the world and, and hopefully vanishing into the fun little fantasy stuff that we're going to create for you here. So anyway, thanks guys. This is this is Paizo, and, and at the top here, I want to give a big shout out and thank you to Paizo Publishing for continuing to sponsor this stream. In spite of all the horrible things that we have done to your game, the nasty <laughs> things that we have introduced, just like bending the lore, uh, uh, insulting the people who wrote the game. Uh, and I didn't do that. Yeah, no, I, I, I just just calling them out. But thank you guys for 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 the support and for uh, the, the sponsorship. It really means a lot to us. Um, you know, uh, and uh, want to. Uh, also say, if you at home are enjoying what you're seeing, there is a way that you can support us, and that is by subscribing to the official Paizo channel. Now, this is a neat little thing. Uh, it'll give you several benefits. The most important, I feel, is you get to put cool emotes in the chat. There's like cool emotes. There's like a little guy with a little heart. He's got a little guy going, yay! There's like a D20 and it's on fire. It's what awesome. Else would you do Flame type all of that out? No, it's I ridiculous. <laughs> you D20 no. on fire. Yeah. yeah. It's horrible. I mean, how did they even do emotes before there were emotes? I can't imagine that world. How did we live there. understand the range of human emotion? Yeah, yeah. If, if you could see any of our facial expressions, you would see how excited we are. Right <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was just bunch a bunch of yeah. I'm really on the mouth, apparently. Oh, yeah, but no insane. eyes, though. <laughs> Most retractable by the government. <laughs> <laughs> but in addition, there is a second benefit if you are going to subscribe to the official Paizo channel. And by the way, if you've got Amazon Prime, you could subscribe for free. Yeah. Yeah, you get you get you get to get all those emotes for nothing, and it's awesome. It's what I do. I have Amazon Prime. Who doesn't have Amazon Prime? You get one free subscription per month, and if you're not using it, it's just like you don't get anything back. Yeah, it's just like leaving money on the table. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's just it's just wasted with all the wonderful things that Amazon Prime gives you. Uh, but but yeah yeah it's it's not like it's a sign up for anything. It's super easy. Just link your account, say Amazon Prime, subscribe, and then you go. You're good. But the the the, the thing that I was going to say, which is the added benefit of subscribing to this channel, is that you uh, would get to have your Twitch handle in the game. Like so far, we have had some illustrious <laughs> uh, uh, characters fall into our laps, uh, such as the um, the contemplative god named Meth Orc. So thank you, Meth Orc, for watching, if you're still out there tonight. Um, uh, we have uh, uh, St. Dormatius, which gave his name to the ship that we crawled through last week. That's a, that's a good ship name. It yeah, is a really I mean. dope ship name. Yeah, yeah. I kind of like that, St. Dormatius. Uh, we've got uh, Jersey Driver, who's the uh, the uh, religious advisor for the Deepwater people. It, it's just mm. tons, of, tons of neat ones, some that work amazing and some that are just terrible. I'm not going to tell you which one is. <laughs> <laughs> to, to me, they're all beautiful, but if I'm, if I'm going to be honest, yeah, no, I'm just kidding. You guys are all wonderful. <laughs> so thank you for subscribing and uh, putting your name in there and, and ruining the, uh, you know, the... In, the importance of a good name. Uh, <laughs> and just like the sanctity of my game is completely submarined by your subs, and I love you for it. Uh, speaking of which, we are going to be adding a name this week, and I want to thank the subscriber. Mm, I should have read this beforehand. Shay Lithia. Oh, Shalthea. Oh, God, Shalthea. Right. Right. Is, is, is this tempting fate? I assume. 
I assume Tyler's closer. That yeah, that probably makes Shay sense. Shaylithia. <laughs> Shaylithia. Yikes. Have, have you guys been saying Shelthia? I don't know. Feel we free have. to correct in the chat. Dom will, Dom will send over a correction. So Shelthia, I'm going to give you this one. In, in wild cards, we just say people's names wrong until they change them to what we were saying. <laughs> <laughs> yes. As a woman yes. named Ravity, please tell us how to say your name. <laughs> <laughs> Thank uh, you. So uh, uh, so either Shelthia or Shaylithia. Thank you uh, for your subscription. Thanks to both of you. Yeah, and we're yeah. gonna put both of you in the game. Gosh darn it! Hooray! Golder to heck. Twins. Um, and so, uh, so yeah, that is that is, uh, and, and another way to support the channel, which is brand new for us, uh, is over here to my right, both on this screen and off. Jordan Pridgen is going to be modeling the T-shirt that we that he just got oh, from yeah. the official SavingThrowShow.com or the Saving Throw Show T-shirt shop, which is on. Uh, uh, what is the name of the... the Tea Public. Tea Jordan, Public. what does it Tee say? Public. It says... Uh, do not be alarmed. <laughs> Alarm will be met with violent force. Which yes. is the best... <laughs> do not alarm. be alarmed. <laughs> Mine arrived yes. today and Which is waiting for me. It is, is, is a quote yes. from, like, what, episode, like, five of season one? Or yes, like yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. It was, uh, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, Beck trying to calm down the natives who were holding uh, Xylitol <laughs> hostage. Uh, at we that were so young point, then. So. so naive. I know. So naive. Uh, who knew? Uh, so yeah, if, <laughs> if you would like to order that t-shirt, we're going to have uh, a couple of more t-shirts coming out. Uh, you can order it stickers. You can put it on a coffee mug. You know, it won't be the world's greatest DM mug. Um, oh, that would be perfect, actually. Yeah. Oh, I know. It would be super good. But there's, there's lots of different <laughs> yeah, options. There's there's phone uh, uh, phone cases, all, all sorts of all sorts of different ways that you can support Saving Throw by purchasing our merchandise. Tattoos, uh, so. permanent only. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. Not permanent tattoos. Yeah. It's Not a complicated uh, tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's gonna cost a few grand. All the best but, ones are. You know, it, you gotta show your support for for us. Right. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. More importantly, for for Beck. <laughs> um, so so yeah. So that is why, uh, in addition to the uh, the support that we get from uh, from Paizo for sponsoring the stream, we we're not taking any direct donations uh, on stream at this time. We may consider it in the future, but at this time, we are not. Um, so if you want to support us, subs, merchandise, that's the way to go. So thank you guys for your support, and just watch the damn show uh, just because us, tweet at us. Yeah, it's awesome. Tell your friends. Tell your enemies. Tell the enemies of your friends. Uh, you know, <laughs> just go on. Down down the line. Uh, just go outside on your street, just yell it. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Scream it out the window, you crazy punks. <laughs> <Deep water deep. laughs> uh, so yes, that's my that's my opening pitch at the beginning. We're gonna go around the table now, and we are going to introduce this fine band of players that we have assembled uh, for your viewing entertainment. And I'm gonna start to my left! What? what? Yeah. what? what I'm crazy piece? tonight! Oh man, okay, oh, man. Oh, hi. Uh, Sorry, I'm just really thrown off. I know. I know. I'm sorry. It's nice Jeff. not going last. To be perfect, guys. Yeah. It had to happen. Hi, I'm Dan Peck. I play Twill, the uh, android technomancer, teenager, former pro gamer, mixed up in this crazy failed revolution, and now just you know trying not to die and cast spells and fly ships and stuff. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. the most abridged version I can give. <laughs> I just want to roll. I just want to roll some dice. So yeah. I'm gonna hand that yeah. off to my my, my co-star. Roll some hey. dice tonight. <laughs> uh, I'm Ravy T. I'm playing Mira Riata Jirsu Jade of Clan Ren House Bane, seventh of the line of Durell. She's a Kasapa Solarian who likes to. To kill things, even though she's a lawful good. So, love playing that dichotomy. <laughs> um, yeah, she uh, used to be a steward, isn't anymore. Is really about the rebellion um, and wants to just make sure that this team stays on track. That's and her. alive, hopefully. And alive. Yep. <laughs> Both of those things. That debatable. Um, <laughs> your turn. Hi, my name is Jordan Pridgen, and I'm playing Nobobobek, who is a Vesk soldier. Um, and uh, normally I wear my uh, my Vesk overplate, aka uh, cheap motorcycle. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I'm wearing this shirt today, so now I'm a Vesk on a Vesk. <laughs> You're You're a dog, we heard you yeah. like Vesks. You get a, yeah. a vest too. You can be a Vesk with non Vesk wearing a vest. Yeah, exactly. Yes. And, and you have a desk. Actually, I'm just gonna take this off. Because yeah. Let's is. all let's all just strip. Yeah, it's miserable. It, it is very very warm in here tonight. Yeah. I, I and I'm a sweater too. So I already, love yuck. the warm. Stop, like man. I know. I'm sorry. I'll keep my arms down. <laughs> You're so brave. I'm clean. 
the, uh, the acoustics of this mask also, also really hurt my ears when I do the, like, Beck voice. <laughs> <laughs> you suffer for your art, and we thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. And, Is it and, art if you're not suffering? I don't think so. Don't think so. The final member of our Let's crew. Disc- oh, sorry. <laughs> that was a bad bit. Don't worry. It's okay. We're gonna, moving on. Uh, the final member of our crew, and arguably the most important, arguably. Um... <laughs> You could argue, but you'd be wrong. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm the, I'm, uh, my name's Jesse Durant. I'm playing Captain Will Dean, who is trying to hold together this increasingly raucous crew of his. <laughs> it's really ramping up, but he's, uh, he's going right. to keep it together. He's, uh, he's an operative and a Solarian, cross-class, mostly operative, which makes him a sneaky, sneak-around type of uh, talky man, but also a uh, Solarian in that he likes to also blow things up. Right? If when you, you remember, remember to a tune. tune. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, you and me. Drift yep. compatible. We got it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so he's largely responsible for how the end of the rebellion went down, even though I mean, it's not all the way over yet. It's pretty much over. But, <laughs> but we're in still over. In our hearts, it's never over. Yeah. As long as I mean, in Beck's heart, it's been over. <laughs> <laughs> Most people have kind of given up on it. No, it's not you over. Know, hey, 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 no. Keep the dream alive, man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining all of us tonight. We're going to have some fun tonight. I got to say, yeah. I got to say, last week uh, was probably one of my favorite nights of role playing that I have done on Saving Throw since we started. You guys were so Mine too. great. It was so fun. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, uh, you surprised me. You delighted me. Uh, and I thought we had some really good moments. Ooh, so we tonight's... were aiming for either surprising or delighting. <laughs> <laughs> you get both, man. Yeah, both. It's amazing. Yeah. And so tonight, I am fully expecting it to be even better. Woo! <laughs> Yeah, we yeah, gotta so. go deeper. Yeah, we're gonna go so deep tonight. So. Hashtag go deeper. No. So yeah, I am. I am psyched. I'm pumped. Uh, and uh, speaking of last week, if you didn't see it, shame on you. First of all. Um, but second of all, you are in luck because I put together a little <laughs> video recap, and it may or may not work. So I am going to kick it over to Dom and see if it goes. Here's a Take recap of last week. Previously, I deep water deep. deep. A fairly well-preserved ship. Looks like it is parked up against a um, another rock formation off in the distance. It's in surprisingly good condition for how long it has sat out here in the desert. Oh, this can't be good, right? I'm usually the one to, you know, slice and dice, but I thought you were going to try talking to it. But if you're not, if we're cool, we'll just, well, you know. Well, hold on, let's try. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Okay. okay, let's do this shit. <laughs> <laughs> and Beck just goes and just cuts it at the hinge of the mouth mm. in half. Mm-hmm. From the other side, you just see the the slice of the Doshko go past, <laughs> and the lower part just falls to the ground like a like a cartoon, and the top <laughs> part stays up there for a moment. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Eight. Hey. <laughs> Ketomo Dekta, I haven't seen you since you left the village. You may not remember me, my... Name is no Bava Beck. Of course I remember you. I made overtures to you multiple times, and you ignored me. Wow. I, I did not read that at the time. That if we cannot be companions, we shall engage in my second biggest fantasy, ritual combat. What am I doing here? I don't know. You showed up. I, I don't believe you're real, so. I don't believe you're real. Cool. All right. All right. Bye. So we're doing this? I am going to kill you now. I can assure you I am you going that I to am kill real. you now. Will, we're allowed to kill these, right? Yeah, you know, maybe we're going about this the wrong way. What the? <laughs> 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 oh, he's just going to open up, huh? If you are who you say you are, today is a joyous occasion. For for one of us, our trials shall be over. I eagerly await the possibility of either dying by the hand of one of the most handsome and brave warriors that I have ever faced, or ending his life in bloody mayhem and sending him to the halls beyond. Huh. It's like the romance novels of our childhood. I want you so bad right now. 
is simply fate that I prove stronger in this case. Soon I will find someone who can match me. And they will give me the inn that I properly, if I am worthy, deserve. Nobody touch anything yet. <laughs> no, don't touch anything until we get a cryptic poem to tell us what we're supposed to do. Shouldn't we all put them in the nothing crate? I mean, there's nothing saying we can't put all of them in the same crate, right? I feel like this poem has figured it out more than that. Um, I don't know, that's pretty clever. Yeah, right. <laughs> I didn't think of it. Hey, hey, hey. Wonderful. All right, nice. guys. Nicely done. <laughs> I mean, I was going to put them all in different crates. <laughs> it is like a brain that is just being, squ- has been squished into a jar. We have much to discuss. Much to discuss. But it's going to have to wait till next week. <laughs> because it is time for us to wrap up this Yay! Woo! And we're back! Thank Such you guys. twists and turns! Wow, wow. that was crazy. Did you see the guy saying the things? Did you see the dude doing the thing? Yeah! And then that wow. happened. What? See, I don't remember any of it. <laughs> I, I, I go into a fugue state when these things start and yeah. just auto You become mm-hmm. Beck. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair Am enough. I speaking with Beck now? <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to head deep. Deep, 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 deep underground, sub terra, one might say. And we're gonna punch that, wait for it to change. What? No, there it is. Okay. Boom. So we switch sides. We find ourselves several hundred feet underground uh, in a enormous rocky cavern uh, that is covered with a thin layer of water uh, uh, that is about ankle deep. Uh, at one end of this cavern, you have the intrepid crew of the Guarded Laser Brash Death, um, looking fearsome and unafraid. At the other end of the cavern, you have an enormous brain in a jar, uh, represented by this creation here that my son made. Um, tentacles are sprouting from this jar. Uh, container, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, a big, big glass container. Um, and uh, with, with tentacles kind of popping out and through the sides and the bottoms. Uh, he is flanked by two dinosaurs and two uh, muck men, who were previously known as muck men. Um, and he has called out to you a greeting, told you that there is much to discuss. And um, that is where we lay our scene. So, uh, just a quick question. <clears throat> He's a brain in a jar. Is he clearly a con- contemplative? Does, does it doesn't not... seem like they normally need jars, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Does not seem to share a lot of the characteristics of contemplatives. Is it hmm. a big brain? It is a big brain uh, in a big jar. Is it like an apparatus, or is this like a... Um, no, uh, uh, this is, uh, th- th- again, it's it's more representative than... Um, I know, than... but it's been a week. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> can I sense um, motive? Uh, uh, sure. Um, yeah, you, you can you can certainly do that. Um, so, so yeah, uh, picture a, um, just, just a round, just a cylinder, a, a, a transparent cylinder, uh, a metal on top, and it is just filled with what appears to be brain material. Um, With the legs or the legs? Just, no, the the, just the legs are outside. It does not appear to the like the legs are coming through little holes uh, right, okay. in the bottom and kind of out the top. And the, yeah, they're just the tentacles probably about you would guess about. So it's a brain and a mech. Yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, I think think Krang. Um, but uh, without the awesome suit. Ooh. Yeah, if Krang if Krang was just inside of a you know sort of a quick suit. sidebar, why did Krang put himself in the stomach? Because that's weird for talking. Like he probably should have put himself head height on that thing. That's all I wanted to say. Okay, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, he debatable. liked the stomach. There was so that's, plenty that's of skin room. Like ethnocentric version of that because this is like you're you're basing it off human heights and stuff like that. But he like, had a know, humanish you're, 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 face. But you're yeah, right. Okay. You're right. Uh, Twenty five <laughs> on that sentence motive. Yeah, she 20? rolled a nineteen. I, okay. Um, uh, uh, 
What? Uh, How much can you read of a brain in a jar's facial expression? Well, like, so even these guys, it's more of it. Because right. I understand that's a brain in a jar, and I'm like, I'm not going to read the expression, but I just want to know if these guys are going to attack us, or if they look like sure. we can approach them. Well, so you're, you're, you're more trying to sense, uh, um, sense kind of the... Uh, the danger of the situation. The, yeah, the danger of the situation. They do not appear to hold any hostile intent. Okay. Um, they, they, they're kind of like the crowd at the end of the marathon. Uh, you guys have been through their test. They approve. Okay. Um, and they, they, not that they've sent for you, but they've been expecting you. Um, that, that's kind of the vibe that you get. You haven't really had a whole lot of interaction with them, so it's hard to say, mm -hmm. but they don't appear to be alarmed or ready to fight, Got although it. they're kind of always ready to fight. Got it. Could that I, makes sense. Could I roll life science to try to determine if I know what species the brain is? Yeah, you can certainly do that. There we go. That's a 28. We have 28. science. <laughs> It's like it a me. brain and a jar. <laughs> yes, its species is jar brain. <laughs> <laughs> the jar brainians. All right. I love the jar brainians. So this jar is, let me see, what is the, what is the DC on uh, this bad boy? Jar Jar thinks. Oh, ah. oh Boom. yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, I don't know if I can approve that. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Brain has, the brain has. Arachnid? No. As much as I love Jar Jar Thinks, uh, the brain has introduced himself as Aramil 200. Aramil 200. Aramil 200. Um, so, yeah. Mentally, though, I'm going to call him Jar Jar Thinks. <laughs> uh, give, me, give me an engineering check. Okay, good thing. I have a lot of that. Uh, five on the die. Uh, 18. 18? Um... Okay, I think that'll be enough. Um, you recognize the container that this creature is in. Dad? Um, it is a power core for a spaceship. Oh, my. Mm. It's a power core for a spaceship. Mm. How the hell did it get down here? Um, and, mm. wait. Oh, yeah, that is, okay. That's intentional. I meant to do that. Uh, sorry, I just heard the sound <laughs> the first time. I'm like, what? Oh. Um, Spoilers on yourself. Can you tell that to the group? Uh, not yet. And it looks like it fits inside of the spaceship that you guys just went through. It has a similar sort of metallic structure. Um, uh, and the brain on the inside, you can only <coughs> surmise um, there are sentient, uh, and you don't know a lot about this because it's kind of a... Um, it's kind of a, a, a lesser known, um, a, a lesser known group um, uh, whose name is Casey. I have to look it up. I didn't write it down. Shame on me. Um, but they have uh, ships that are completely controlled by a single, um, a single entity, and they are evil, um, as far as you know. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, they have ill intent. Um, but what this brain was doing inside of a contemplative ship, that's the great mystery, isn't it? Yeah. So, Is it the great mystery? It's yeah. pretty mysterious. Um, yeah, it's pretty mysterious. Um, but yeah, you know that that uh, a certain uh, there's, there's there's a certain there's a certain collection of individuals who have ships that are controlled by just a big brain in the middle. Okay. Hmm. If you had to guess, this must be it. Okay. Let me look that up real quick. Captain, <laughs> we might want to play nice. How nice? Like, way above what we're usually capable of. Well, <laughs> did you hear that, Mira? <laughs> did you hear that, uh, Captain? I will put on my non-aggressive face. <laughs> Beck, Beck does a look where he's like... <clears throat> Mira does a look that looks exactly like it. Me too. <laughs> so... Uh, let me guess. You got a story to tell us too? Brain Brothers fighting? Brain Brothers. <laughs> it's very funny. Glad you like it. <sighs> no, no. It's, um, <laughs> I wouldn't exactly call us brothers. I wouldn't call us friends. What is your relationship? Strangers. You could say rivals, I suppose. Rivals for what? 
for deep water. Oh. The survival of this planet. The survival. Yes. So, <clears throat> you, uh, if you both have the survival of the planet in mind, how are you rivals? Dominion of the Black, by the way. Oh, thank you. Um, Google that later. Um, sorry, say that again. Uh, if you both have the interest of deep water in mind, then why are you rivals? Well, um, one of us has the ability to successfully beat back the Islanti invasion, and the other of us is just a terrified imposter. Which one are you? Well, funny you should ask that. Um, <clears throat> uh, Shilithia, here, could you bring this over to the crew? And the uh, raptor walks over, grabs a piece of paper in his Shilithia's little raptor claw, and runs over and... Thank you. The raptor scuttles back into place. You're welcome. We've never established gonna, never the, gonna use the, the, <laughs> 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 the new prophecy. Dot txt. <laughs> How'd you know? No. You take orders from a false god. The deep ones are weak and won't be able to stop the invasion. They are weak-willed and weak-minded. If you truly care for the people of deep water, enlist the mud folk. They are strong warriors and fight with blind zeal. There's also more of them. They didn't even really try to make it a poem. It's, it's not really coupleted. No. I mean, actually, I, I kind of like the diversion from the more structured approach of the earlier poems. It's got more of a free-form rhythm to it. It does. I was about to say there's no problem with free-form. Um, what do you think of that new prophecy? I think it's far more enlightening and effective, don't you? Your, your Excellence, may I approach... <laughs> Don't Hello? call me your What are you doing? <laughs> Just call me Aramil 200. Aramil 200. May I approach? I mean, no harm. If Twill approaches, I'm taking one step behind. Them. Certainly you may approach. All right, yeah, I get like about I, I, about half the distance. Okay. Like, uh -huh. I'm not getting like way up. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Put me right behind them. Thank you. We've been through a lot. We've been told our future multiple times now. Mm -hmm. Why don't we set all this aside and rather than you want to save the planet, they want to save the planet, we don't want to be killed, what if we work together? That's my intention. But I mean with everyone, this new prophecy of yours, you clearly, or whoever wrote the prophecy, does not think highly of the Deep Ones, and I understand, they're not a warrior people, but... All right, I, I don't mean to make waves, but looking over this, it's not a prophecy. I mean, it's at best a series of advice. Is it like a fortune cookie where you're expecting a fortune, but you just get a statement? Yes, it says something like, oh. if you work hard, it'll probably turn out better. This is just a series of things we should do. The okay. other one specifically said things that were going to happen in the future. Huh. Yes, yes. You could consider it less of a prophecy, more of a... Threat? Not necessarily. It doesn't seem to have anything threatening in it either. <laughs> <laughs> this is my advice for you. I have been following your exploits as you've been on this planet, and I think you would be a very valuable asset for myself and for my mudfolk allies. And as you say, working together would certainly be... A nice way to marshal our forces against the invasion, and unfortunately, it's impossible. Well, why is that? The mud folk and the deep ones could never get along. They're biologically predisposed to oppose each other. Well, oil and water, it could never work. Biologically predisposed, as in there is actually something genetically part of? Like, this is me right she asking. Uh, I see, yeah, yeah gen <laughs> I'm more anatomically okay, uh, uh, unable to um, work together or be in the vicinity, the vicinity of each other. All right. Well, why not have some of you fight on one front and the others fight on the other and coordinate through us? And would you say there's bad blood between the two of you at the moment? Yes. Well, um, I think there is a way 
for you to curry favor with them, considering you have something they want. And what would that be? There's supposed to be a suit in that ship. A suit? How interesting. Yes, we have a suit. You have a suit. You're interested in the suit. They are interested in the suit. They are interested in the suit. And I think they would do a lot for that suit. Mm. So I'm saying you could probably negotiate terms that are amenable to the both of you with possession of that suit. An olive branch of some kind? Mm Mm-hmm. And they would be willing to follow my orders? We'd have to ask. I think it would be a very open conversation. That's very high-minded of you. You seem to think very highly of these deep ones. What yeah. happened between you two? Between the two of us? Between myself and the deep ones? Uh, no, between you and Methork. Methork? Is that what he's calling himself? Is that not his name? <laughs> no. Well. Shame. It was a lovely name. <laughs> <laughs> it was not his name when I knew him. He must have taken that name when he fell in with the deep ones. But it's fine. I can call him Methork. Methwork and I have had no contact with each other. What's his real name? His real name? <laughs> the Doctor. Yes, GM Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> Three guys. First of all. <laughs> Second of all, I have an answer to this. Where did he go to high school? And it's in my notes. What subject was he best at? <laughs> what is his mother's maiden name? <laughs> The, the names that contemplatives take for themselves are not necessarily pronounceable or understandable uh, by the common person. Nice! <laughs> it sounds similar. The, the beginning of his name sounds similar to Mythork. Okay. So it's probably a shortening. But it's a very curious shortening considering what it actually well, means. Well, I would love to hear that someday. Uh, you know what? If we're ever in contact again... In a few weeks, I will give you the full pronunciation of it. Great. Well, it sounds <laughs> like we're going to be protecting you. deep water together. So. All right. Well, this is this is a little beside the point. What? Uh, <laughs> what? You both came here on the same ship? On yes. this ship? You could say that. I, if I said that, would I be correct? Yes. Okay. <laughs> we were on the same ship. All right. Um, is that why you're wearing part of it? Mm, very insightful. Do you so see the other engine? why did you come here in the first place? It's wearing the other engine. Was it for the drift stones? Oh, yeah. No. You could say that <laughs> I was born on their ship. Ah. We had a... Would we be correct if we said that? <laughs> <laughs> say that. <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> Um, I came into existence on the ship uh, through the standard process in, into which members of my species are born. Uh, we had a difference of opinion as to what the correct mission should be for the St. Dormatius. Um, oh, two big brains fighting. What a bad <laughs> surprise. <laughs> and so I, I suppose you could say I commandeered the ship for the greater good. And in so doing, I invoked their wrath and they disabled certain elements of the ship and we crash landed on the planet. You say the greater good? Sorry? You say the greater good. What does that mean to you? Um, The service of the Dominion, of course. The contemplatives aboard the ship were not able to see the light, see the the good of the Dominion and the good work that we do. And so there was a struggle. Uh, three of the crew members gave their lives to save Meth Orc. I actually know nothing about, do I, would I know anything about this Dominion? No. Okay. I mean, give me a culture roll. Yeah. Oh, culture yeah, plus mysticism. Yeah, I've been wondering the same thing, so I'm sure. Yeah. I also I would like to do that. that. I don't have culture. I for that. <laughs> yeah, I don't culture. have culture. You're the best poet in the I whole don't crew. Have uh. Um, uh, that's a 15 for me. Okay, negative 5 DC for me, I think. Um, on. Okay. Yeah, and I'm sorry, guys, I might be screwing up the lore on this one, so bear with oh, me. Oh, fuck me. Um, hey. It's our own lore! <laughs> we get a few. This is, uh, these, guys are, these guys are Pathfinder. Okay. Uh, uh, There's a Pathfinder thing, too, so. L- lore is a tool, not a hindrance. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 
So please forgive me, and especially if we have official Paizo in the chat. Don't get mad at please me. Please don't get mad at me. I'm just, making, <laughs> I'm just trying to have fun here, all right? You can get mad at me. What you gonna do? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh-huh. You can hurt him. Okay, sorry, so give me your culture rolls. What's that? A four? Yeah. Mm. Yo, you've heard of the Dominion of the Black. Really? Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are um, people who wear black robes <laughs> and they <laughs> dominate <at> basketball. <laughs> Nice. And they are probably the most feared. Ba- like you haven't seen a basketball game in a while, but you're pretty sure that's what it is. I got a fifteen. Fifteen? Okay. You know a little bit more. I got what? Tw- Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight is good. I didn't roll, but now I got a three. Damn, you guys. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, uh, so Jesse, uh, uh, twenty-eight. Uh, you have you have defeated the DC of the roll um, yes. by ten. So that means you get mm-hmm. two. Two things. I can roll again, you guys. No. <clears throat> All right, so uh, so I'm asking about the Dominion. Uh, what do I know about the Dominion okay. as far as like what are they about? They are um, they are aberrations, uh, meaning that they are extra planal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> planar, um, planar. Pla- planar, thank you. Planal, <laughs> planar. Uh, they are extra planar uh, uh, beings. Uh, the the goal uh, uh, seems to be domination. Uh, Dominion? No way! <laughs> uh, they are probably very evil aligned uh, right. in your mind. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, think think devils from another planet attempting to establish a foothold here and using little, sending out little ships to uh, plant their seeds in these various planets and grow a habitat that is friendly for the Dominion. Kind of like the Burning Legion. Like, exactly like the Burning Legion. Mm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Burning Legion. Just kidding. That's, uh, from that's a World, of World of Warcraft. Oh. Alright. So, so yeah. these guys are not good. So similar good. similar in a way to the Aslanti, uh, except for the fact that they are coming from another plane and their methods are a little bit more um, secretive. Hmm. Okay. Like, yeah, Dominion of Black. That's people. People have heard of the Aslanti. It's kind of a uh, you know it's a, the boogeyman. Dominion of Black. People are like, oh, I have no idea what, even what that is. Okay. Way more how good they are. Yeah. Basketball. <laughs> what? I, I rolled a three, so I also assume no, no, no. they're a basketball. Yeah, team. They're, you know they're a basketball team. You're <laughs> almost positive. You can name several players on the Dominion. <laughs> yeah. It, it was you know it's like how they have like the purple people eaters. You know it was like it was like a really high quality squad sure. uh, from a couple of years ago. Nice. Um, so yeah, not that Dominion. The Legion of Boom. That's a better example. The Legion of because that's Boom. a Seattle thing, Paizo. Nice. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> right. Seattle. Lord. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. You can, you got Cam Chancellor. You got. Uh, he can hear us, can he? <laughs> he is a giant brain in a jar. <laughs> he doesn't have ears. We we have brain talkie powers, right? <clears throat> I do. Mm. You can only talk two though, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I think it's most important that we get. This suit, right? Without, <clears throat> you know. All right, we, are, we have a. Uh, let's see, we have secure comms, right? Do we have any typing apparatus or something? Do we have like any? We have little computers, right? Yes. All right, I might I might just type in a little message for everybody, real quick. What's your text say? Yeah. What's that? What's your text say? Oh, it's gonna say. It's all I'm, and I'm gonna kind of like type it. You up? <laughs> you, you up? You oh, up? Sorry, that was the last text. <laughs> New com <laughs> unit. Who dis? Sorry, that's really. <clears throat> it's gonna say Dominion is very bad. Uh, stand by. It's probably not gonna go well. We're not that bad. What happened to... Well, hey, <laughs> you should have to make a computer's check. You should have to make a phone's one. No, so, he, has, he has another way. So the um, expeditions keep coming out to the ship to search it. What did you do to them? They failed the test. So you've been waiting underground for three years for someone to finish your series of riddle poems. Oh, no, no. We've been doing many things underground. Such as? We've been waiting for visitors, building up coalitions, reaching out to the various populations of mud folk that are around, scattered around deep water, consolidating our forces. We're quite prepared for the 
incoming Aslanti threat. And if you're curious of how I knew what you were typing, Captain Wilding. Oh, yeah. While I understand that we have different goals in mind, I wouldn't say that the Dominion is very bad. In fact, we... We come here to help and to lift up How is that a different goal? We want to help. We want to raise you up. Agree. You we just want said to give we have you... different goals. So I was wondering if that was a little bit of a slip or if you actually, you know. <laughs> How do you mean? <laughs> For your brain, you answer. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me. I'm um, also confused. I'm we have, confused. What's up? We yeah. have. But I was kind of a base state. Yeah, he, he, he said we have different goals. And yes. so I was con- wondering what those different goals were to you. Right. Yeah. Your goals are to. I don't know, spread your seed and conquer. It seems like you're kind of all over the place. What we wish to do you is... You don't know me. <laughs> I'm not speaking of your goals in particular, I am speaking of those who oppose the dominion of the black. I got it. Understood. Thank you. Uh, what, what we are trying to do is build a better world for everyone. Okay. Give you a, a, a chance to achieve your highest potential. That is all we wish. All right. Right, right now you're you're floundering. You're scattered, and you need strong leadership to uh, to create the the world of your dreams. You'll never achieve it with all the warfare and the fighting and the nastiness. You know, for a brain, you're really close-minded. Oh, thank you. That was not a compliment. Interesting. <clears throat> all right, simmer down. <laughs> all right. Now, so, what, you have come here to visit me for something. You say the suit. Is that all you wish? Take the suit and leave? It's a good start. Would that be acceptable to you? We do have the suit. Are you against the idea of entreating with Methork? Yes. Simply because he's... He's not a real... God. He nope. has no direction. We don't think he's a god either. We're just trying to do its best for the planet. Right, right. Yeah, we're wholly unconvinced that he's a god. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're not believers. We have not seen the light. I think it's probably brain damage. <laughs> yes. I don't know. I was actually swaying a little more in the god direction, but I wasn't there yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems that both him and I have the same sort of omniscience. Uh, something that I did not have until I arrived on this planet. Um, it's huh. a pretty great planet. Yes. So I am able to see things and hear things across the entire planet, including mysterious communications and secret things that pass between crew members, mm-hmm. as long as you type it out on your keypad. Is your uh, ability to see these things related to the Driftstone, or is it related to the deep water? The deep water. How many fingers do I have behind my back? (laughs) (laughs) Methor could do it. Let's see. Four. I always pick four. (laughs) (laughs) I have a question. Can you see our ship? No. Uh, That's probably not good. (laughs) Looks like it is still off planet. Well, it was quite a comical thing that happened, wasn't it? We are in need of a ship. And I can't help but notice that you are a power core. Mm-hmm. How about this? You give us, and this is not a threat, this is merely a proposition. You give us the suit, and we can return it to Methorc so that it can be used to treat the person it needs. We figure out a treaty so we can all fight on the same side and we will pilot the St. Dormatius as the flagship of this combined effort to fight back the Aslanti Empire. Now, I know I'm not the diplomat of the group since we clearly do not have a diplomat of the group. <laughs> what diplomat? But I have noticed that from the story he already told, uh, when he let someone pilot the St. Dormatius, as soon as he disagreed, he crashed the ship into a planet and killed everyone on board. Well, that's why we'd be doing the piloting. Right. And I think that didn't work out too well for the previous pilots, is what I'm saying. No, no. He stays with his forces, not on the ship. I'm not sure I trust the ship. 
to obey us when it's been influenced by these wonderful basketball players. What can but think, <laughs> think about what a glorious death it would be if you're right. Uh, you know, we'll have to discuss the glorious <laughs> thing. It's a pretty well-defined state amongst my people. <laughs> and a ship crash is iffy at best. Yeah, very questionable. Like, battering ramming during combat that would work. is an exception. But, but that's beside the point. Or in space combat. Right. Uh, we got sidetracked. Hey, sorry. <laughs> Uh, all right. So, a free ship. if we took, <laughs> if we took the, sh if if theoretically, and I'm not saying we're gonna do this, mm -hmm. if we took the suit and we went back to Methork and talked to him, your plans would be to just uh, continue what you're doing, amass an army, and then fight them and the uh, and the Aslantes. We have no reason to fight the Deep Ones. Perfect. Peace achieved. Hmm. They're useless. They would do no good in the coming invasion. So, so let them be. As I appreciate the proposal, I will offer you a counter proposal. I will give you the suit. You can do with the suit as you wish. You can return it to Methork. You can <clears throat> sell it. It's a very powerful artifact. I'm sure you could get a pretty penny for it, nearly enough to purchase another ship, I would imagine. And then <laughs> you just <laughs> simply leave leave the Deep Ones to their own devices. They're not going to do anything. They've been there for thousands of years underground doing nothing. So you would rather have us <laughs> not help you fight the Aslanti Empire? No, oh, you would help me fight, absolutely. I can give you power, weapons. I could give you dedicated mud folk who will fight by your side. I can give you all of that. It would be quite simple. Military might isn't the only thing that matters. Don't you think it's possible you're underestimating the Deep Ones? The Deep <laughs> No, I've, I have been studying the Deep Ones for the last three years that I've been here, and I can assure you that if you think this con enclave is an embarrassment, and it is absolutely an embarrassment, I mean, <laughs> worshiping a contemplative, they're holding up as a god. Do you hear the, 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 the sermons that he gives? Have you attended one of his sermons? Didn't he make you? No, he didn't make me. I was born on his ship. I commandeered his ship. I took over his ship. He's weak and he's scared. No, he's no use to me. He's no use to anyone. Go, you can f fix the daughter, whatever. The, the, oh, sorry, he doesn't say fix the daughter because he doesn't know that. <laughs> Scratch that. Um, you can take the suit back and do what you wish with it. Um, it's up to you. But my advice to you is to just leave the Deep Ones to their silly prophecies and their silly games and to come help me. Says, help me unite the mud folk. Says the brain who set up a series of games and handed us a prophecy, but, you know. What? Couldn't make it easy for you. You did have to prove yourself worthy. I've been impressed by your exploits, but... I wanted to see them first. Culturally, I do understand the motivation behind that, actually. My question, though, is the end goal, what happens? Hmm? Let's say we fight off the Aslanti Empire. What happens? I imagine I would <clears throat> ascend to a leadership position on Deepwater Prime, and start to lay the groundwork for further Dominion presence, to go work side by side and we can control the flow of drift rock and introduce the universe to deep water. Hmm. I don't know if you know this or not, but this <clears throat> water that you're surrounded in is incredibly powerful. I have a question for GM Tyler. Okay, GM me. So we Meta have, me. We <laughs> have been in this deep water quite a bit on and off. Mm -hmm. Are we starting to experience any positive side effects. From it that. is uh, tingly, uh, certainly. Um, you are, yeah, it, you feel good. You're not experiencing anything specific, at Here, least. Drink some. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Stop, yeah. you already had some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're Just good for a few weeks. Yeah. Just a little taste. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, nothing nothing, <clears throat> nothing specific is, not, is benefiting you right now. Plus you're all wearing space armor and that's protecting you from 
uh, the forces. Unless you want to, you know, get down on your knees and take a little sippy sip, which you are more than welcome to do. I mean, I've been carrying around that mug full of it. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mug away. No, uh, I already am. Uh, yeah, it's good. Yeah, uh, it, it has all the properties uh, that you examined uh, when the first time that uh, Mira examined it. And so, um, but but it's not like growing your muscles or anything like that. It is just sort of this pleasant buzzing. And it seems like it could be very useful. If it's refined, perhaps mixed with other things, might have some healing wristbands? properties to it. What's that? that? What's happening to our wristbands that the deep ones gave us? Um, they're just ch- kind of chilling right now. Okay. You know, when you get them close to the water, they buzz a little bit. Okay. But, you know. <clears throat> All right. Well, uh, hmm. so what do you think of my counter proposal? What kind of weapons capabilities does this core have? Does he have any weapons on him or anything? Uh, what do you see? What do you see? It's like a tentacly man, right? Yeah. Mostly, Kill? just kind of looks like the tentacles. <laughs> I don't know. This one might be too much for us, actually. Captain, you must be careful. I have seen these people in action. Sometimes they will start you going one direction and then set a pick and force you to, to go in a different direction right. at the last moment to stop you from reaching your goal. Mm-hmm. The old pick and roll. Yeah, and then they will roll to the outside. Oh, man. Are, you, are we talking about basketball again? What? <coughs> I work with what I know. <laughs> I can appreciate that. Uh, so, any... Oh, we got just, just tentacles? Yeah, uh, all you can see is the tentacles. Um, and the two dinosaurs. Oh yeah, the two dinosaurs. <laughs> two dinosaurs and some muckmen. Flanked by dinosaurs and mu- mud folk. Yeah. Um, I'm going to... Um, yeah, you don't mind if I take some of this deep water, do you? No, help yourself. All right, I'm going to fill up... Uh, I have a bunch of empty darts for my dart gun, so I'm going to fill up like five of them really fast and seal them back Mira's going to drink some. Yes, help yourself. <clears throat> I'll warn you not to drink too much, however. What happens? Large amounts of deep water for those who are not acclimated to it can be... Poisoned. Wonderful. Yeah, you said it had uh, powerful properties. What properties are those? Well, from my research here, they appear to have restorative properties. Hmm. Uh, They appear to satisfy the thirst of humanoid creatures that have come in contact with it. Right. There do appear to be some other magical qualities that are a bit beyond my capabilities to investigate. Have you come into contact with it, or has only your suit? No. Is, are you hermetically sealed in there? I can come out if I wish. And so you have, like, freely been in, and that's how you gained this near godlike ability? That's one theory, Yes. Another theory is that I had this godlike ability all along, and this is just yeah. manifested on this planet. Gods don't tend to get stranded on planets. Oh, well. They all have to start somewhere, don't they? Look, you seem like you are a smart guy. <laughs> I didn't want to use that term. <laughs> uh, um, we can't speak on behalf of any other faction aside from our own. I think here's the best course of action. Please let us take the suit, and we will come back with a better answer. A little time to think about it. And look, you can read my mind. Like, this is... This is legit. This is the offer. Can you read his mind? (laughs) (laughs) Their mind. Perhaps. Hmm. Oh, right. Um... I can give you some time to think about it. Thank you. That is very refreshing to be dealing with someone who doesn't immediately try to attack us. No, I have no intention of harming you. Thank you. I'm your biggest fan. Have you seen my movie? Which one is that? Uh, okay, all right. Let's get No, this I, honestly, <laughs> it's, it's hard to get any video feed down here. And so I'm sure, I mean, I've read the synopsis. It seems like people seem to like it. So... It's about 30 minutes longer than it needs to be, honestly. <laughs> He's, he he uh, uh, says something uh, to Silithia in, in a strange dialect. And Silithia... Uh, runs 
or I should say scampers, uh, back into a recess and comes out carrying a, uh, a box, a little crate. Runs up to you. Here you go. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. Hey, have a good one. You too. <clears throat> Stay safe out there. Check it. All right, you too. <laughs> Stay safe in here. <clears throat> and watch yourself. Deep water deep. That, that was strange. <laughs> Check the box. That little lizard guy wasn't so bad. He's probably deep water deep too. She? All right. <laughs> no? Maybe. Mm-hmm. You try lithia. Yeah, it is a she. You saw. Mm-hmm. Oh, Charlotte. Definitely <laughs> female organs. Lady. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Lady Charlotte. She's deep water deep. All right. Uh, how do you know all the dinosaurs are female? Someone go around lifting up all the dinosaur skirts. Sorry. How do, you do know? it. <laughs> uh, take a look inside. Finds a way. Uh, yeah, you you see a big sort of uh, a mess of folded fabric. It's probably yeah yeah yeah. Looks like it's uh, some type of suit. Any magical properties? Uh, yeah, can I run a mysticism? Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, that's 25 on mysticism. 25, yes. It is magical in nature. You can definitely tell that. Magical as hell. Can I tell what sort of magic? Is it? No. Why not? No, <laughs> <laughs> um, you, uh, the, you can tell it is very powerful magic. Um Beyond what you are able to comprehend with a twenty-five. Hmm. Okay. It has a legit DC in here that I calculated. Yeah, that's fine. It's very high. Uh, okay, I'm. Okay, I may have to burn a spell slot. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna use a level one spell identify. No, mm, oh, there you did have identify. Okay. Yes, I do. Uh, the spell allows you to attempt to identify the function of a magic item with mysticism. Uh, each round, you gain a plus ten insight to the skill check to identify the properties and command words or passwords of items targeted when the spell. The spell does not allow you to. Oh, and does not allow you to identify artifacts. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, so I don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. Well, you're about to deck and cane it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, wild. Listen. <laughs> Nice. The Herodric Q. Herodric, shout out. I almost did it. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, almost Super did. close. Uh, yeah. Amaril, really appreciate it. Amaril 200. Oh, I'm sorry. Amaril was, was a colloquialism. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Amaril was I prefer if people use my full name. Uh, Amaril 200, I appreciate your uh, cordiality. Mm-hmm. And we have a lot to think about. Right. I'll be watching. I'm sure you will. I hope to see you again soon. Mm. Likewise. And have a nice day. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and uh, we will. I'm gonna turn on around, and we're gonna head back out. All right. Not before giving a little wink point to our dinosaur friend over there, <laughs> <laughs> holding us down. Uh huh. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh-huh. Anybody, dinosaur points back. Yes, yes. <laughs> Even with dinosaurs, the captain cannot turn it off. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right. Chat, feel free to fan art the heck out of that. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. So, all right. Fanfic. You guys begin the long climb back up to the St. Dormatius. Um, and yeah, if you would like to discuss things, that's fine. Every time I hit this microphone. Um, <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Well. I think we, that would have been a very difficult encounter <laughs> if we would have done anything different. Well, I don't trust them. I feel that we may be, hmm? if we use them to fight the Azalanti. Wait. What was, that's the... That's the yeah, that's coming. If we use them to fight the Azalanti, they may turn out to be as large a threat as the Atlanti themselves would have been. Yeah. But they are right. The deep ones are weak. I've observed them for far less than three years, and that's been pretty much the biggest thing I've taken out of it. But do we stand to gain more from using their help right, ne- help right now and then taking them out later? Or... That sounds a lot like a steward thing to do. Well, it's funny you mention the stewards because <laughs> I have a thought. <laughs> What's that? I think we need to rally the planet. 
I think we need to get Emeril 200 and the Muck men. I think we need to get the deep ones. And I think we may have to talk to the stewards and we may need to form some sort of planetary alliance, for lack of a better term. Because if the Atlantic Empire is as bad as everyone keeps telling us they are, we can't turn away fighters. Now, Captain, I don't want to speak for you, and obviously I served under you during the rebellion, but I think we need to unite the planet. And it might be the only way to save it. I absolutely agree with you. I mean, the Muckmen are just as much deep water as any of us. Maybe definitely more so. You know, the, the, the deep ones. They've been here since this planet's been here, presumably. To, to get rid of one for the other is like cutting off one of the arms of this planet. Though we have been told they are biologically incapable of working together. It's a big planet. Mira? Yes? Do you still have a way of contacting the stewards? Do I, Tyler? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> well, uh, there's, there, is a, there is a little asterisk by your name. I've been uh, uh, that wait, brings wait, down. <laughs> I mean, we... No, but I we, feel like, can I, like, do I have any... Like, do I have old friends I could call? Well, do I have... I worst case scenario, we something. know how to attract the stewards. We could always yeah. fall back <laughs> on like old, old techniques. Way. Besides, I gotta try to make a call anyway. Um, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Are you, Bathroom. Uh, <laughs> I got you. You biologicals are so strange. <laughs> not, not that one. Not that call. <laughs> of the wild. Do we um, believe the stewards are even still on deep water? They seem to... Wait, we finished what you were going to say because that might change my answer. Oh, too. um... I said it back. Yes, uh, uh, so you... You mostly kind of worked as a liaison yeah. between the stewards mm -hmm. and the people of Deepwater Deep. Mm -hmm. So most of the contacts you have are actually Deepwater citizens. Okay. Um, Darian but what was about like old people? Because I was old way, way back in the yeah, day. Way, way back in the day. Uh, well, the stewards are based primarily in the Pact worlds, and that's kind of where you were. You know, when you yeah. when you first start trading with the mm -hmm. stewards, that's where you. And so they get assigned to various locations. The people who actually came to Deepwater Deep is you know sort of one of the um, uh, one of I want to say battalions, but uh, that might not be right. But but a, a segment of the uh, the the steward uh, force <laughs> came to Deepwater and was working yeah, there. Yeah, So they, they might not necessarily be the people you trained with. Um, so you, your your contacts are very limited. I mean, um, uh, give me uh, yeah. give me some kind of role. I, yeah. I guess that would be. Negotiation? Is that a thing? No. No. Um, diplomacy? Yeah, give me a diplomacy yeah. roll. Uh, 13. 13. It's possible you know one or two people on the okay. planet. Okay. People who not necessarily are in a position of power, but who you <laughs> may have served with. There's some names you can call. Aunt Karen. Aunt Karen. Um, no. Yeah. That's uh. Yeah, she was, she was an old drinking buddy. Yes. I, uh, she may or may not be here still. It's from her shadow run game. <laughs> we can't use it. Yeah, we can use it. Poison's cool. Poison's right. great. They're yeah. great. Um, yes. Uh, Will, my contacts with stewards, obviously, you know. I'm not the most welcome there at the moment. <clears throat> but you do have your brother. Yeah. I need to call him anyway. So. Find out if you tried to kill him earlier, or if that was just an illusion. Yeah, I'm really curious. <laughs> we're all we're all wondering. Ah, yeah. uh, uh. so you don't have contact with the stewards, but do you have any contacts remaining at Holda Mining? Actually, they also don't like us very no, much. No, they don't. <laughs> Boy, well, we've burned a lot of bridges. Yeah, but this is kind of where my gamer actually, brain comes with, in, where it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. you got to put together a squad. Yeah, you got to yeah. put together a squad. But actually, from the definition like that the you just gave of the people that I knew, on I would have contact with people on hold, at Holden Mining. How, how so? Because uh, if the stewards were stationed here, if I was stationed here, right? Okay. And then Holden Mining was working supposedly with the stewards, as per we saw in season one. Mm -hmm. um, Watch it on the bots. <laughs> Hold the mining. <laughs> I would know someone from Hold the Mining. Um, you may know people who work at Hold the Mining. Um, the I would take even one person. Plus, we have the license plates of everyone in that. We do. Yeah, yeah, you know. Did we sold the car, by the way. 
You know what you do know? Who do I know? You Wait. know that Sheeran, <coughs> who approached Xylitol. Oh, yeah. He may be down. Oh, God. Uh, to, uh, <laughs> you know, to, to, to clown, I guess. Okay. I'm Sorry. friends with a bank guard who also liked guns. <laughs> true. Yeah, that's true. Text friends is a strong word. You also, know people. <laughs> what, was the name, what was the name oh, of the drow right? woman who was suddenly Oh, yes, all our drow It is in brown coat. And, I thought that was the sun. Uh, no, it is in brown coat. It's the drow. Okay. Um, the sun, uh, I don't remember the sun's name. The sun was fine. just dead. Did, yeah, the sun was a dead man. Uh, Dead that's okay. Dead um, Walter Dead. Johnny Deadman. Deadman. <laughs> uh, I think we need to talk that's to right. the drow also. They can um, alarm us. They're smuggling weapons. Yeah. Um, Captain, permission to take point on this. Uh, what were your duties be specifically? Well, I mean, I've sort of put together a rough idea of a plan. I just would like to kind of maybe see it through. I mean, I know this is your home, but... I think we, and twelve pauses. I think I need to be famous again. Put Twill in charge, and I will actually listen to that. <laughs> I, I. This is mutiny. <laughs> I, I think I can be the face of protecting this planet. And I know I came here to escape all that, but if we are serious about saving the planet, then we have to use every tool in our arsenal. And deep water runs deep. Right. So, I agree with you. That's the plan. We get as many people as possible to help this planet. Take point on uh, reaching out to people, uh, Social media. Uh, <laughs> let's get let's get the word out. Gotta get a good What's hashtag. going on, everyone? This is Twill. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta save this planet. Oh it's a real no! <laughs> <laughs> what have we done? Beck, I, I know you signed up to die with Captain Dean, but would you die with me? I mean, I still think we're gonna be under I'm Captain still the Dean, captain, right? right? I'm, still, yeah, I'm definitely still okay. the captain. Because I don't care about social media. <laughs> that's, that's not my jam. Nah, I like your initiative. I'm more likely to listen to you than to listen to them, so... Uh, and, and, I, and I do this out of a place of respect, not to dethrone you, but... Oh, well, you're the number one. Mm. All right, <laughs> let's save this planet. Yeah. Uh, let's get I feel we may be jumping the gun somewhat here. We don't <laughs> even know if the Deep Ones will respond kindly to finding well, out that we want them to work with the Muckmen. And oh, yeah. I think we use the fact that we have the suit to our advantage. And if we can possibly... do we deny them the suit if they disagree? I think no. that is... No, no, no. That's not how, that's not how peace offerings work. <laughs> but I think if we can go to them and say... <laughs> what is this? Peace, you I think up. if we go to them and say that we have others who will fight alongside too that might go a long way. But we indeed don't, because they would not agree to fight alongside. But I mean the other factions who we have yet to reach out to. We can get everybody ready. We need. To, we have a lot of work to do. We have to unite the, the, the northern, western, and Jersey enclaves. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so we have to do that. We have to find a way to get the stewards back in. We have to find a way to get popular support from the pack worlds, if possible. We need to get a hold of our Yasoki journalist friend. Oh, Sebastian. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Let's make this a very big deal, because it is. I just don't want us to count our mega chickens before they have finished fighting over the resources to see which ones get to actually grow up. <laughs> I love your metaphors so much. <laughs> I think he was Thank being literal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's very difficult to count Megan. They okay. move very fast. Constantly <laughs> eating each other. <laughs> I tried to keep Seven on wings on each. <laughs> Free fire, too. Um, okay. All right. So we go to them. We give them their suit, the suit to them. Mm -hmm. We say, help us. They say no. What happens then? Uh, we have to prepare them anyway. So if we can't unite them with the Muckmen, we have to unite them at least with themselves. And if worse comes to worse, 
I mean, when when things happened and the stewards came and occupied this planet, this is a scrap wave burning. colony. This everyone was fighting amongst themselves. <laughs> what united this planet to a large degree was the huh. outside threat. I think it might be the same here. I think so too. Well, if we do have to choose between one of them, I honestly was not a big fan of the what were they called? The black Oh, the Dominion, Dominion of the Black? The Dominion of the Black being all like, oh, there'll be no war and peace and stuff. That sounds dull. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, I don't, those guys creep me out. Those guys are serious. I, I, I don't care what he said. If he had our best interests in mind, I don't feel like that's true. So I'm worried about what that's going to mean if we have to, I mean, I mean, he's obviously probably listening to us. I mean, if he's anything like Methork, he can't hear us in the ship here, but... Right, I was about to ask, are we in the ship yet? Uh, you can, Yeah, you can have this discussion wherever you like along your path. Yeah. And so I think okay. in the ship would be... Yeah. So I don't Maybe. remember, what was I able to recover from the uh, computer in the ship last week? I know it wasn't much. Yeah, uh, you said that, that there was there was a problem with the reactor. Right. Um, and um, there was a, a violent struggle. <clears throat> um, those okay. were kind of the things, the, the last moments of the ship that you were able to recover. Okay. So without saying anything to them, uh, I would like to attempt to check the computer again okay. and kind of fill in some of the gaps now because now if there's a problem with the reactor, we know that the reactor core is uh, Aramil 200 mm -hmm. and the violent you know, incident was between Methork and the members of the crew. So I kind of want to like parse through all of the information and see if like if I can get anything else. Now. Okay. Yeah. Because I've kind of like I've kind of like filled in a little bit of a gap. Uh, from for, yeah from a computer whose hard drive has been very poorly wiped. Um, but uh, yeah, go ahead and give me a computer's check. Okay. And we'll see how much how much you can put together. Let's. Uh... We're not even in this prophecy. <laughs> it's not a prophecy. Right, I'm gonna roll in here because you've been rolling, you've been rolling rocks. Yeah, it's yeah. an appeal to. Oh, that's horrible! That's very, like, Sorry, sarcastically I have two rerolls. I have one. I'm gonna use my last reroll. You're gonna use a reroll? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. We still have two for the table, but that was my last personal one. Okay, two two okay. tables. That's all we have for everybody? I, no, two I tables. Two I, have, I have two personals. Two. two. Okay, you guys have two personals, and we have two table rerolls. Uh, rules is written, baby. Yeah. And then uh, it's rules is written. A nine of six rerolls to go. So I got a 24. A 24? Not great on the roll, but I have a plus 15 on the computer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so, um, yeah, it is a, uh, what did I say? It was like a tier. Yeah, hold on. Goodbye, rerolls. Thank you. Right? Thank you, you season me, one. Baby? Thank you, season one supporters. You will not be forgotten. Yes. Yeah, and I'm trying to bring back a bunch of characters. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what that was all about. Yeah. I gotta go back through my records and be yeah. like, what was this guy's name again? <laughs> yeah. No, I apologize. This was all like spur of the moment. No, no, man. No. <laughs> Everyone who who's ever I'm existed deep water is coming back for the for the real fight. Season two finale. Thirty nine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. It's a big reunion. <laughs> we did it. Okay. Uh, yeah, how does Game of Thrones need such long breaks between seasons? We can just imagine <laughs> grand fights. We can just imagine dragons. Oh, wait, is that copywritten? <laughs> yeah, oh no. We're going to get sued. <laughs> Computers. There it is. Okay. Um, so you rolled a 24, you said? No, 44. Yes, a 44. 44. Okay. <laughs> uh, 24. Okay, so that is. Uh, you beat it by two. Uh, or, sorry, beat it by four. Uh, so, uh, you are able to sort of, you get a little bit more of a glimpse into the overall mission uh, for the Contemplatives uh, when they first set off from Akaton. Um, uh, it was a, they were Xeno Seekers, um, and their mission was to go out and to um, find and catalog uh, uh, species. Uh, they encountered a derelict ship um, uh, in in their journey, and they brought it on board. Uh, the derelict ship um, stayed in their hold. It was it was sort of a small scout vessel, um, and they had a fairly large freighter, relatively large uh, freighter. Uh, and so the uh, they they stored the ship in their hold. It seemed to be abandoned, um, and it is at that point that certain things started to go a little bit wonky with their power systems. Okay. 
So, so um, sort of confirming, yeah. essentially, so, imagine what you suspect happened. Right. So we we don't know for a fact that we're safe inside the ship. Like, presumably, uh, I have to keep looking at uh, Aramil, Aramil, Aramil 200. Aramil 200. Aramil 200. Aramil 200. Aramil 200. And if I'm saying that wrong, please correct me, Aramil, if you're out there. Yeah. Um, it, so, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Well, I was just going to say it may be because we know that uh, Methork wasn't able to see right. the underground, the deep water area that they were, and wasn't able to see inside the ship, but they were able to see what we were doing while we were underground and in there, so that to me says they might have, like, non-overlapping uh, blind spots. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right. So. Um, okay, so I keep the information to myself then, okay. for the moment. Alright. Uh, do we have communications in the ship? Can we use the communication devices? Can we? <laughs> um, you don't, no, I don't need you. Yes, we can. What do you want, Kevin? <laughs> oh, no. whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> He Sir asked Captain. me a question. <laughs> the power. The power. Hey, remember that episode you were passed out? Yeah. <laughs> That's true, yeah. yeah. Grabbing at power. Do we um, have communication? Uh, uh, communication. <laughs> uh, you, there, there, is, there is very little power to the ship. Um, unfortunately, uh, it is you are able to power the um, the little droid that sort of resets the puzzles uh, every time and <laughs> keeps the ship spotless and clean. Um, uh, that's Ooh. mostly running on battery power, um, but uh, but a ship without a power core is kind of running off of auxiliary power, and so anything um, solar power. What's that? No. Oh, yes. No, that'd be great. Yeah. Supernova. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, remember the, the tune. Yeah, that would be cool. So we'll the, need a tune in combat, unfortunately. The, the no, majority. when there's a credible power threat, I could attack you. Oh. I don't know if solar power would work in space. Yeah, that's true. You're just out there, you're like, man, I wish we were near a sun. Uh, it worked in Wally and Stargate Universe. Oh. I guess. <laughs> Sci-fi. Um, <laughs> yeah, the... Uh, I was only SGU shout out. So the power power core is like pretty much shot. The power core is gone. It's been working on auxiliary power for three years. Um, so the, the most of the systems are offline. There's no engines um, to, to draw power from either. Um, so I'm going to say no that the communication systems are not exactly functional. Well, is there a town nearby? Um, yeah, there's probably town. Um, Time to go to the local library. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yup. Uh, yeah, about uh, probably about twenty or thirty miles okay. from here. A small um, uh, oh god, what what are these called again? Um, scrapway, scrapway colony. Ah, right. What did happen to our car? Uh, the car is at the entrance uh, of the oh, wait. Cave, yeah. yeah, they dropped us off and they were like, the... "Oh hey, we'll be back." <laughs> but we had no, our you know, own. No, well, there's there's uh, uh, there there was the car that that you took. Yeah, but, oh, but he, was, he was a drow. Yeah, I don't remember uh, who's what to our car. name escapes me at the Did moment. Did we drive it to the? Oh, he was great. Did I not write that down? Wait, cheese bottle? She, cheese boda. Yeah, that's cheese boda. Cheese boda. You can probably the get a whole cheese boda. The one that's texting you up right now because I gave him your number. All right, yeah. step outside. We'll call space lift. Hopefully it'll be cheese boda. Oh, great. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, che- cheese boda. Um, you guys are probably a little bit too far to get any reliable communications um, out here in the desert. Sure would, be nice to, sure would be nice to have a ship. <laughs> Why How did we get out? Oh yeah, we took the Tentacle Express. Yeah, yeah the yeah. Tentacle Express. All right, um, so do I presumably coming out here have a bunch of like uh, messages on my thing from like, hey, I enjoyed driving you places, give me a call. Like, uh, I had fun teaching, li- teaching you about Is farm. Is cute? Yeah. No. Okay. No, 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 no. She's like, little... he's got nothing going for like, him. Well, the okay. thing is, he's like, he's like good looking, but it's like, it's a, it's a weird, like, he's just, he's a little It's good off. looking with different cultural standards. Yeah, what okay, is, what that. is Mira's sense of, you know, hot? Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out, like, what is Mira's sense of hot? Like, all, all drow are kind of like, you know, have that, have that sort of appeal about them, like that bad boy appeal, but he's got like, kind of like weird eyes, and just the way he like talks, he's really intense nice. about things. Got it. And so, yeah, it, there, there's something like not quite right. His um, brother, Fromage Bodo, is the, <laughs> is the real looker. Yeah, if you saw a picture of him, if you saw a picture of Cheese Bodo, you'd be like, hmm, I'd like to meet this guy. And meet him in person, you're like, whoa. Whoa. He's been so there. He's kind of, yeah. Right, so I'm gonna sidle up next to Mira, uh-huh. take right. a quick shot with my communication device of her face. Okay. Like, hey, baby, can you give me a lift? 
Sent. <laughs> Literally, the face you get is like a. <laughs> like, <laughs> attractive one. Uh, behind <laughs> a mask. Yeah. What? Um, <laughs> anyway, go. Out of character question. Yes. Did we have a way to get back to the deep ones when we were? Done no, with this? I, I, he I, said he was going to be there. Yeah, yeah, very, very Carrie said they were going to. Very, very up, Carrie right? is waiting for you at yeah. the crack in the wall. Like about a mile. Yeah. Away. Uh, half mile. Yeah. That's about a mile. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. So, it's I'm all right. Sorry. No, I mean, no, no, this no. Is a valid question. You do you, yeah. Do you plan on telling Barry, Barry, Carrie where we're going? Yeah. I was thinking, should, I mean, shouldn't we at least, like, that little girl's kind of still flipping out. And, yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, he I mean, we can, we can go network after. <laughs> do, yeah, if we were able to reach anyone beforehand, I would say that would be good, but you're right. There's, I want to say there's I trust him to take need. it down himself, but <laughs> I don't know. Cancel she's Votto. Cancel she's Votto. Yeah, it, you get you get actually a response back. Uh, <laughs> saying, where you at? Mm. LOL, tell you soon, big boy. <laughs> 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 okay. He's waiting. So He's waiting. let's go. Okay, okay let's go, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, where to? Uh, we're gonna go back to the mouth of the cave. Back to the mouth of the cave. You see rocks. As you approach, one of the rocks turns and looks at you. Oh, you, oh, you've returned! My attack! <laughs> <laughs> Way to pull him. So on <laughs> brand. <laughs> and, uh, oh, I'm not, not worried at all. I knew you would uh, persevere. You are the champions of the deep ones, after all. So it was interesting. Uh, it yes. was very, very interesting. A lot to talk to Methwork about. Yes, I, I, we I, have I'm sure. What we need, we should get back fast. Oh yes, yeah, well, absolutely, right away. I'm sure they'll all be waiting for you. So, um, uh, uh, yes, yes, come down this way. Let's hustle. Let's hustle. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> all right. Yes, and and as fast as her little legs will carry her, uh, very very carry makes your way, squeezes into the cave. <laughs> Hustles down the hallway. You guys make your way over to the very first uh, uh, drift tunnel. Um, put your hand up. Tentacle time. Huh? Tentacle time. Right. Here we go. It looks like it's morphing time. When we yes. Do this. Yeah. <laughs> Back through the tentacles. The tentacles grab you. This is starting to be awesome by now. Uh, they're they're wow. grabbing you and pushing you along. <laughs> and like, yeah, I can get used to this. It smells all nice and floral in here. Uh, and is you know, this is one. Of, this is one of the good tunnels. And then it, it spits you out. Uh, this is sort of a sort of a hub. Uh, very very curious. Like oh, this way, this way. We have to catch the uh, connecting tunnel. <laughs> um, I'm gonna use a ten minute rest while we're doing this and spend a resolve point and get my stamina back. But okay. that doesn't. That's fine. Like I'm not exerting myself. While sure. Things, so sure. I'm yes. The tentacles. Will, uh, you're in there. You're in there for probably about ten minutes. So yeah. You, go you ahead. Goes off a little bit. Go yeah. ahead and spend a resolve yeah. point. Just because uh, I didn't. I, didn't I take, know you guys have taken quite. Yeah. I didn't take that much, but I am so squishy. Right. <laughs> yes. You're right. You're right. It could also have been when we were walking back. Right. If need be. Yes. The little guy's a lot faster than I thought he was going to be. Actually, he's got a little. He's got a little get up. Yeah. She. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> These guys would be all right. Huh? I would like to see the size of their glutes. Yeah. All right. And uh, she, yeah, she makes it to the to the connecting uh, tunnel. Puts her hand up. There we go. Into the. And you guys are being tentacle pushed along, tentacle pushed along. Uh, What's I expect this? It's kind of like a nice little massage, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you just gotta like relax, let it go. Mm. Yep. And you make your way back to the central hub of the Eastern Conclave. It spits you out, and you see the familiar, uh, massive facade uh, of the exterior of the Eastern Conclave. And uh, a very, very curious, already hustling across the, the, the mushroom uh, garden, the mushroom stalactite gardens, uh, uh, gets up to the door, um, whispers to the guard on the other side, and the gates, poof. Oh, sorry, actually, I think they slide open like oh. this. Um, and uh, you guys are... Back on the Eastern Conclave. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the heroes have arrived and they have achieved their mission and they have uh, conquered their enemies. Yep, it's very right. exciting. We need Where's, to see Methorc. We need, we need to see Methorc. Do we need Methorc or do we need to see Hurtful first? We need to see Methorc to make sure that what we have is the right, thing. The right object. All right. All right, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take you s straight there. It's, oh, um, yes, I believe he's in the middle of a um, service. You were going to have to interrupt right him, but right. what, sorry? Uh, we request humbly that you interrupt him. Uh, I request not humbly and say we're the 
damn prophesized ones. <laughs> well, um, yes. I kind of wanted to hear one of his sermons after it was talked up by that other guy. You're really kind of getting into this philosophy, huh? Well, I just think religion is an interesting aspect of, of other people's lives. Back? It's true. I mean, my entire existence is based around dying oh, to satisfy my true. I don't afterlife. know if you had any deities you worship. Our belief is that the deities that made us decided the planet sucked and moved on to another place. They're like clockmakers who said, this clock is terrible. And if these hands are worthwhile, they will break and go on to a better clock, which we will have had more time to practice building. Th that metaphor was wow. a little worse. A little worse. <laughs> to be fair, you are right twice a day. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> I'm right often, especially in matters of military tactics. <laughs> Very true. Polite clock maker. Um, <laughs> this is all, all made right. so much better by the fact you're wearing that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. So um, uh, yes. Uh, well, uh, yes. I, I, I certainly do uh, do what I can. Um, uh, I will. I will clear the, with the, the Jersey driver, and um, I'm sure we can we can speed things up. Are they in there? Uh, sorry. Are they where, Are they in here? Where's the chamber? Where's the sermon being? Oh, it, it's it's in it's in the BSP care temple. Uh, which is where? Uh, it's this way. Right over that way? Yeah, follow the passage. <laughs> we saw oh. us. <laughs> oh, yes, of course, yes. Oh, no, right away. So, so yes, uh, uh, very, very carry. Hustles along um, and gets you uh, to the door of the temple. And um, well, I, I should warn you, there are quite a few people inside. That's okay. And you will, oh, all right. <laughs> Thank you. And you open it up. <laughs> and let's get our boy, your boy, <laughs> Matt Your Lord. boy. Sometimes you just gotta go. I like it. It's called pacing. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Praise be to Mephok. And Mephok Imagine is so just cool. A mess of money. of uh, money. These are going. These are representing oh, yeah. uh, uh, deep ones. Oh. Dollar bills. All sort of uh, uh, gathered at the uh, at the. In, two dimensional. Uh, in. <laughs> Respect, and then you've got your boy, the Jersey driver, up here. Jersey driver. Um, Jersey. And there's actually a line for me here, and uh, as each as each deep one uh, approaches the foot of the altar, um, the Jersey driver uh, has a plate, sort of a ceremonial plate, and he reaches out and he hands each one a a little offering, and they take the offering. <laughs> And then return <laughs> back the to. Tentacles. What are they eating? Oh, is I mean, it could be anything. As a person who like went to temple and you had to like <coughs> take a little thing to eat, it could be just like yes. sweets or something. Yes, they are, they are communing. Um, yeah. uh, it is. It is a um, special well, herb that is prepared by meth orc, and it is distributed. And it is told it has magical properties. But um, you're certainly welcome to commune with meth orc as well. It's, uh, I just finished a long communing. I'm I'm good. All right, all right. Well, the offer stands. Mir wants to go around the outside mm. of the room. Yeah, it seems you may have missed his sermon. Yeah, unfortunately, geez. he's a firebrand. That one mm. really, really gives it to him. Yeah, it seems to have everybody. Uh, seems to have everybody really excited. Yes, yes. Mm. It's it's the highlight of the week for many of us. It's no. Nope, nope. yeah. <laughs> I'll it's catch up with you later. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, can, can, can we circle the perimeter of the yeah. room and come Let's up this way? Yeah. Um, yes. So yeah, Methorc basically Orc, cut the line. Methorc, of yeah. course, uh, uh, sees you approaching, mm -hmm. and uh, you see him look at you, and he, he, he gives a wave, and he um, stands before the people. He actually doesn't stand. He, Floats over the citizens of deep water. Nate. Sorry, of, of the Eastern Conflict. <laughs> oh, Ooh, he all says, about this. Oh, thank you I so much float. for joining us. <laughs> Unfortunately, urgent business has come up, and I will have to cut tonight's uh, service short. So join us again next week. And we will continue the story of... Of all of the thrilling adventures yeah. of Methor. <laughs> same Methor time, same Methor channel. We will continue to learn the, um, the, of the apostle known as... Roger. <laughs> <laughs> and his adventures in... Roger. 
<laughs> Jump Town. <laughs> Roger and Jump Town. <laughs> Very interesting story. I'm sure you'll all love to hear it, but unfortunately I must ask you all to leave. What bizarre esoteric names. <laughs> <laughs> there aren't even any numbers in it. <laughs> uh, and uh, the deep ones seem a little bit uh, confused, but uh, they eventually Thanks, all... Thanks, guys. Yes, it is us, the filter. exalted ones. <laughs> I'm just going to keep using Ouch. exalted tonight. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, god. <laughs> you made it worse! That's the story of my life. <laughs> okay, so Methorg is dead, so we don't Oh no, what happened? Don't worry, I can fix this. Twill the god killer. Yes, with one hand. <laughs> I'm, so sorry. I'm sorry, Henry. Uh, okay, here, wait. Uh, let's be real, Methorg always looked a little precarious. Yeah. <laughs> I know, yes, this is, this is not uh, the most stable of platforms. But there we go. All right. Hold on. Wait. But that's why the official Paizo Starfinder uh, tokens, uh, oh, yeah. what are they called? They'll never break like right? this. Right? Exactly. Use, use what are the they official called? Star available on Paizo.com now. Shit. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> Which, that's my first one. I get one. Yep. It's PG-13. Two story. Okay. Ah. Don't look at me. <laughs> ah, right. This is Methorg's life now. Pawns, okay. that's what they're called. I'll let you fix it, because I have a story to tell. Please okay. tell your story. I'll um, this out. So, it's floating. Hand it over. Hand over. So the Here. deep ones <laughs> all file out, um, and it is just you and the Jersey driver and Methorg. Beautiful. And Methorg says to the Jersey driver, um, apologies, I... <laughs> I need to speak with the chosen ones, and if you would step outside and give us some, give us some privacy. And uh, yeah, hey man, uh, you know this is no problem. Uh, I'll just be standing outside here just to holler if you need anything. All right? Ah, uh, yes, very good. Thank you. <clears throat> Thanks, Jersey driver. Yeah, yeah, you know I'm here for you. So just let me know if uh, <laughs> just trying to be you encouraging. Need anything? And, uh, <laughs> all right, just gonna step out and. Uh, do the thing and, and the doors close, boom, leaving you and a still, meth orc. Still here, actually, here, I can, no, no, here, I'll, no, why? You're just, I'll, I'll take it, I'll, I'll, I, can, I can take it back, I'll fix it. Okay, great. I know exactly how it works. <laughs> Get Chris Business Pratt, we need him to fix it. So, here. thank you. This intermission is brought to you by my stupidity. <laughs> and my <Dot> clumsiness. <laughs> All right, there we go. I'm like, what is that? Um, all right. Ain't well, being brain. Okay. It's not. Come on, you're at negotiation time. You're great at this. Right. <laughs> Here's your gun. Thank you. Gun negotiations. Okay. Um. So, uh, oh, you actually have a really high diplomacy. Why don't yeah. we ever use that? No, I, I do. I do sometimes use my diplomacy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Every now and then. That's right. It's this one here. And then this goes here. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. We did it. We did it, boys. And nice. girls. And others. And days. Days and nights. Okay. Cool. Ah. Oh. Oh. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Ah. You weren't involved in the construction, so ah. the fixing would, I imagine, be a difficult thing. So. All right. I'll break it for real this time. <sighs> um. All right. I take it. No! I didn't do it. I swear. <laughs> Your mind. <laughs> Things are coming off the rails. Uh, I take it that you were successful? Successful is maybe a sliding scale. We may have been on the low end of successful, but we did bring the suit. I think we is were successful. It? Yes, yes. Merit thinks we were successful. That is the suit. And he uh, he floats down. Imagine so fast. him Not... floating. What does the suit do? It, it's a... It is a... Molecular manipulation suit. It allows the user to <clears throat> go in and transform different molecules and essentially repair damage at the molecular level. All right, that's all it does. Yes, it's pretty good. It's. It's very advanced technology, as you can imagine. Mm. Do we need to apply it, or is this something we can give to one of the deep ones to take care of? It's something I would need to wear. That you, you would need to wear? Yes, it is specifically attuned to contemplative 
uh, to a contemplative so you can biology. Use it to uh, you can use it to affect the things around you, or you're using it to f- fix yourself. No, to f- to fix to fix the uh, damage mm. at the molecular level. Mm. On yourself or on the girl whose name I didn't write down? I imagine it could be both, but right now my main concern is for Pika Mika. Um, I would love to sense some motive. Yeah, I would also like to sense some motive. I have sure. a plus zero on this, so... I, I guess have a plus fun. seven on... Well, let's, let's sense, sense together. Time, I'm down, I'm down. <laughs> yeah. Sensey time. Motive sensing team, go! <laughs> oh, that's a, that's, a, that's a two. Okay. You're plus all going to sense oh, motive geez. on him. I got a 19. Oh, man. Oh, geez, Rick. Ah, oh, <laughs> oh, boy. It was a 13. Okay. Thanks, 14. 13. This die 14? is not... Doing super well for me tonight. Um, Yours was pretty good, right? I got a 19. Hey. Okay. 19. Uh, wait, what did I say? 14. 14. Yeah. Two. Uh, yeah. I got. I got a 13. Okay, 13. Um, yeah, he appears to be telling the truth. I think it's important that we mention that your brother. Brother? No, no, no. no, I don't think they're related. Actually. Oh, you're. you're, you're <laughs> wow, just you guys. That's racist. Wow. <laughs> we met Aramil 200. We met Aramil 200, and you did. He gave this to us. I have not. I have not not had the pleasure. I was <laughs> unconscious when I was found by the Deep Ones, but I have heard of his exploits. He is a dangerous, dangerous individual, and he means to wipe out. All life, not just on deep water, but in the universe. Possibly, but I think it says something that he was willing to give us this suit and to show good faith. For nothing? Well, for a, a conversation. <laughs> for a conversation. <laughs> for a conversation. Uh, That's a nine. <laughs> okay. No! Hey! Oh, oh man. man. That was a good catch that time. Thank you. Yeah. Orkbeth is falling apart. It's this is great. It's a metaphor for his yeah. <laughs> mental state right now. Um, uh, so, so what did you get on your bluff? I got a nine, but I'm not trying to bluff. I'm just trying to say that... But we did way. offer him stuff. We Yeah, we did offer him stuff. We <laughs> so offered him a conversation. You're trying to, <laughs> to lie. I <laughs> know, uh, I am forgetting. <laughs> Um, uh, no, we we offered possible. We just offered. We didn't offer anything concrete. We offered to think about it. We we offered to think about. Think it, about what exactly? Which means nothing. <laughs> we offered <laughs> to think about working well. with his team. Yes. Tell the us. The muckmen to unite and get rid of the the empire whose name I keep forgetting. The Atlantean. <laughs> the Atlantean. I said it earlier. Yes, but we didn't offer him it. That's. That's thinking about it. Thinking about it is nothing concrete. I, Methor, yeah. Mira, Mira stands by yes. what she said. Tell us about the scout ship you found. The scout ship? Oh. <laughs> yes, that that ended up being quite folly, unfortunately. Um, it was a, what we had thought had been a, uh, a derelict vessel. A very small vessel. It was, it was curious. It showed up on our scanners and in, in the middle of nowhere, frankly. And um, we brought it on our ship, and it turned out to be a living organism. Is that Aramil 200? No. no, no what was it? it was. I would imagine Aramil 200's parents. Huh. Aramil 100? I don't. We didn't get a name. <laughs> Aramil was my I'm gonna, father. They were, I'm going to take the body off and just stick that. So okay. Yeah, yeah All right. that's the way you got to do it, buddy. <laughs> that works. Um, did you find him in the drift or out in open space? It was out in the vast... We were far from a planet. It was not somewhere we were expecting to see anything on our scanners. We do occasionally run across um, <coughs> space-faring creatures, and uh, so we were we were set to scan. And it was a biological uh, biological dot that we picked up, but it was a ship. And we thought perhaps there were people inside, but there were none. It was just a um, a dead. I'm sure you saw the brain inside of a reactor. You were all were Xeno seekers. Yes. I still am a Xeno Seeker, technically. But then why are it. you impersonating a god? I'm not impersonating a god, I am a god. Well, the point of the Xeno Seekers is to catalog life, to protect it, not. Are you giving me a look? Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> are you giving me the hook? No, no, no. no. <laughs> I had a, like, we've had this conversation look. Yeah. But that was all. Okay. But yeah, we can definitely. I don't know where you're going, though, so. Well, it, basically, what. 
Methork is doing is very much against what the Xeno Seekers stand for. <laughs> so I'm trying to call him out. <laughs> Respectfully. I, I did not choose to come here. I was brought here. By? By the Deep Ones. And so I'm doing my best to help these people. In the meantime, learn as much as I can about them, which is absolutely within the Xeno Seekers code. Okay. Well, you hold a great amount of influence over these people. Yes. More so than probably any one being should be. There is a great threat coming. We know, we all know it. You prophesized about it. You've told us about it. And it's going to take more than just four of us and the Deep Ones to keep it at bay. We... We're going to attempt an alliance between people who have never worked together and by all rights shouldn't work together, but we would like, or I would like, I can't speak on behalf of my crewmates, but I would like a pledge from you that you are at least receptive to this because so far we've been met with a lot of stubbornness. But if you care about these people, and I'm pretty sure you do, we may have to set differences aside. <clears throat> so you're asking me to convince the Deep Ones to work with the Muckmen? Ideally, we don't know if this is feasible yet, but the idea of it, the idea of something bigger, the idea of deep water coming together. We're all everyone's intelligent creatures. We should be able to get past any problems we have eventually. You wish to build a coalition of Deep Ones and Muckmen and whoever is left on deep water. The Anyone settlers. willing to stand by our side? We need everyone we can get, don't we? It certainly is bold. I had not thought of working with the Muckmen, but if you have... Andre 3000 made a very good point. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was the Christian saying? Mary Bell 200. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. They made a very good point. Your deep ones are weak. <clears throat> They're fragile. They break easily. It's hilarious. <laughs> but also a little worrying if they are to be on your side. They have an inner strength that a brute like Aramal 200 would not be able to see. Yes, but an outer strength that leaves them cracking and, and breaking <laughs> with with very little physical force. <laughs> right. We're yeah, not but, saying I mean, one is more important than the other. <laughs> We're saying both are equally necessary when can, facing the I am TFR. quietly suggesting that the outer strength is more important in a war <laughs> situation. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> and they can be on the front lines. I agree. Um... <laughs> Yes, I know. I, 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 I do understand um, your concerns uh, as somebody who has studied the physiology of these deep ones for the last three years. Um, I can say that while they physically are lacking, she looks around. Uh, <laughs> at times, um, there are, are some among them, uh, particularly. Uh, a particularly... Northern Enclave? Is it the Northern Enclave? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. The uh, yes. The Northern Enclave, um, they have a fairly high amount of martial ability. Um, so, I think... I think... You're underestimating the power of the Deep Ones, and I don't not think only we're that. underestimating them. I'm saying that if people want to help fight to protect this place, they should be allowed to. Your suit. Hmm? Your suit. Yes. It has the ability to enhance. Yes. We should absolutely use it to heal Pika Mika, but what if we could use it to enhance the Deep Ones into a fighting force? Wouldn't that be kind of genetic engineering sort of thing? It would be completely voluntary. Well, how do we know if we'd be doing it right? It's kind of a... It's kind of the, the type of maneuver that I don't think most people would want to submit to. It's an interesting idea. Hmm. Well, I guess you know what the suit's capable of. 
<laughs> uh, or will know. A bit. I, I, I wasn't as familiar as my crewmates um, with the device, but there could be potential there for that. Right. Do you, do you have the yes. suit? Yes. Yeah, I have it here. Yeah, the, let's let's see. It's been many years, but. Um, I can probably put it on. I, I imagine we'll need to bring Pika Mika here. Ah, you can't um, go yes. there. Well, it's very difficult for me to get around town with that's, this. I mean, that's fine. Whatever. So, you and, your, and your legs are over here. Can I do one last <laughs> sense motive here? Uh, you had your sense motive. <laughs> oh, did I have my sense motive on this guy? Yeah, I'm sorry. That's my right. We all brain sense is. Yeah. Um, yeah. so, this seems legit, right? So he, uh, <laughs> uh, he, he floats over to the suit, or to, to where you are. Um, Suit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> His little weird baby <laughs> hand. I'll zip, it up. I'll zip it up for you. And um, and he puts it on, and the suit just kind of like. Oh, thank God he didn't try to pull it over his head. He was going to stretch out the neck hole. <laughs> well, oddly enough, it goes, vroom, and he Ooh. he uh, falls into the suit. <laughs> and this is it. Yes. And he starts floating up, and he goes. Absolutely. I apologize. They were um, they were holding me hostage. Um, the prophecy is real. Your ideas are real. Um, I wish you all the best of luck. <laughs> and he floats up through the ceiling and into the rock, and he disappears. No, that's isn't gonna happen. Can I? Can I? Oh can God. I do? Uh, what is it? Uh, attack oh. of. If they're moving opportunity. There you go. Uh, he is out of reach by the time. Uh, yeah, I, I had I had given you uh, this. Oh. No, I, no, I was I was, oh, I was okay. pointing. I was pointing. <laughs> I wanted to let you say your thing. Yeah. But I am because I was gonna shoot a magic no, missile. I am, I, am ready, <laughs> I am ready to. I am ready to go. You're, you're going to attack no, him. Yes. Nobody attack him. <laughs> we, can, we can attune and then use our black, black hole attunement. But to we ground. still gotta attack and roll initiative until then. Mm. So okay. <gasps> As he is saying, <laughs> he was monologuing, and you yeah. had every opportunity no, to interrupt. No, we were listening to the GM. No, you That's, were not. You were. I was speaking in character, and he had already opportunity. Say he That's very true. Yeah. And I was I saying he disappears. You had the chance oh, to jump I put, in. I put nanobots in the suit. So sure you did. <laughs> sure you did, Dan. Uh, um, yes. Well, that sucks. And he vanishes through <laughs> the ceiling. All right. Well, we got straight punked. <laughs> I hated that. Oh. What about the girl? Mm. We need to do damage control immediately. We need Should to get Jersey a driver in here. This is going to be nearly impossible to explain. Uh, I say we just tell Why the explain truth. explain that? <laughs> I say we. We could just say he ascended? Weekend at Bernie's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we make a big brain out of clay. <laughs> <laughs> and we put it on Twill's head. Yes. <laughs> Um, oh, I don't have, I don't have like a press the digitation or anything. Oh man. Well, don't trust anyone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and his baby body. Mm. Oh okay. no. So. That's really bad. Um, <laughs> so, okay, damage control. This is our only yes. chance to plan this out, right? So, he ascended. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> we're the chosen ones still, presumably, yep. right? We've been anointed. Now we're in charge? We've been anointed. They love hearing that. Yeah. What are they going to say when they, what are we going to say when they ask, what happened to our God? Uh, he ascended. We, yeah, he, can we, he did. Can we, <laughs> he went up. He yes. <laughs> yeah. Technically, we, it's um, true. Can we, like, supernova or make it, let's use all these flash blinders. <laughs> for, wait, for what? Just to make it seem like something big is happening in here? To anyone oh, who may be just out of the Look, door. I know you love your flash no, I'm, just saying, I'm just saying, all of you can turn the other way, but if we need to make it sound like something is big is happening in here, and then we all walk out and say we're the chosen ones. Yeah, uh, he hmm. didn't he have like speakers and stuff too? Yes. <laughs> turn all we can stuff also on do there. that. <laughs> just could, make it, stage it. Could like we a, chase him? Don't laser brush at this bag, baby. Look, can we whatever this go, ship go, was, obviously it has no space travel capability. Yes. Whatever this suit was, yeah, he it has no it. space travel capabilities. So maybe he would be going back to the ship if he needed to get off planet. Yeah, okay, so, so that's the plan then. We tell them he ascended. We've been anointed. We're in charge now, and we follow him and try to stop him. We run back to the tentacles. 
We don't need to go all the way back there, do we? Well, if he's heading back to the ship, like oh, Beck right. said. Yeah, yeah, to the, those tentacles, the good tentacles. If not that ship, he must be calling another ship. So if we can search for contemplative crafts. Well, I mean... Be a lot more helpful <laughs> with the ship. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, let's go. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go to the doors. We open the doors. You open the doors, and <laughs> you see the Jersey driver standing out there. And he's like... All right, uh, so we gotta go uh, uh, take care of the Pika Mika? Jersey driver, something yeah. has happened. Okay. Praise I, me. A miracle. <laughs> Praise me. A miracle. All forearms? Are, all forearms. All forearms. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, what, what, what's going on? Is, what, is he gonna help her? Or, or, uh, Methwork is, he's gone, he's, he's ascended. What are you talking about? He has ascended as gods are wont to do. What? No. Praise be. How did, did he, he not get... say he was going to ascend? How did he? What do you mean he ascended? He did. He, he was just, right there. He, he, he like healed himself and he went up and he was gone. He went through the rock. Through the rock? He can't go through the rock. He ascended. He's a god. He can do whatever he wants. Look, I, I don't know how to explain what. Just Look, happened. he would have gone through. I don't. I, I don't know how to explain it, I, but he did. I reach into my backpack. I Wait a minute. Great time. Well, can you get him back? Wait a minute. Has he tried to escape before? I mean, well, he said you people were holding him hostage. All right, stand Wait, back. I have that? a mug. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, hey, hey! Whoa. Okay, I own the mug. All right, no, no, no. Good work. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on! No, no, no! He, uh, uh, he, he, we couldn't. I mean, Mirror's obviously, proud. we couldn't. Mirror's he was. He's. He's a. You know, he's here for us, and so like. Has he tried to leave before, though? Well, he, he's he's asked, but I mean, it, we we don't, you know. That's a lot more words than yes or no. <laughs> How many okay. people are in our vicinity right now? Huh? How many people are in our vicinity? Right now? There's there's people milling about. Uh, the, the curious the onlookers. Top. I'm so about to go away, for my flash blinders. <laughs> What's going on? Twelve, wait, wait. Put it away. No, no, no. This this was this was agreed upon. He was he was injured. He was. Uh, he was not well uh, to 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 go. Look, and, Jersey driver, we don't have time right now for this. Uh huh. But you guys need to hold tight, okay? You you're in charge of this all the spiritual nature of this entire conclave. You need to hold it together, okay? This How am I supposed to do that? He's gone. Go sit on. He the is the best god we've ever had. Just you're don't the tell anyone. And we are telling you what to do. Wait, how many gods have you had? Lean on the prophecy. In my Good lifetime. Questions. Yeah. Also, how many gods? Probably about a dozen, I think. What happened? He's definitely to the, the best one. He knew. We he are your gods now. Whoa, 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 I don't want to be their gods. <laughs> can I, can I? Well, this is certainly something that? we can talk about because there yeah. happens to be a vacancy. Whoa, they, uh, so, yes. <laughs> they trap their gods in caverns. And no, listen, this is not, this is not entrapment. Uh, we we, we provided for him. Uh, we, we gave him care. Okay, what's, I'm sorry, what's, what, what's happening? Uh, I'm using this as the, as the, because I was tired of pantomiming holding a mug. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's <laughs> Are you threatening water. me with that water? No, he just got scared. As your new god, I think he has the ability to do that. They well, have the need, ability to They're do like that. puffer fish. <laughs> if they get scared, they they just do crazy stuff. I, uh, yeah, it yeah. seems that way. He's going to burn me with the water? You're no, in the no, middle no, of my because, city. Because we need you. We need we you, and we don't need the... I'm going to put it away. Priest. Right, he's gonna priest. Put it away. I don't know what's going well, on here. Over. Jersey <laughs> driver, think about it. Why would we threaten you with the water? When I could easily just crush you whenever I felt like it. Makes sense. Okay. Any of us could. We don't want he to. He is your god now. <laughs> All right. We're no, on... I don't want to be their god. <laughs> well, we're on your side, and together we're going to save Deepwater, okay? That's all. That's what you need to know right now. All right. All right. Yeah, that's that's fine, but our, our god is gone. I mean, there's, there, there is a procedure that we need to go through here. What? Cool. Get started with that. We'll be back. Tell everybody he's sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Yeah, work on that. We'll be back. Okay. Uh, Could have been gods. Dude, oh well, she's gonna let's fall go. Apart while we're <laughs> <laughs> uh, Could have he, been gods. He, he runs his after hands. we just saw someone at the end of a, an elaborate escape plan to stop <laughs> yeah. being their god. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take. A, Twelve takes out. a sip of the deep water. Okay. Good. You feel refreshed. Good, because mm. Dan was thirsty too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, I have confidence we would be able to figure it out if we got stuck in that room. <laughs> we didn't have. Omnipotence and giant brain powers. <laughs> uh, real, be able to make it work. Real quick, I want to thank Ohio Jeeper, by the way, for the sub. So I've got, I've got your name here. 
And uh, you are going to be coming up depending on how long this crap takes. Um, <laughs> um, a quick question to a Jersey driver. Uh, what? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we we got to start the ritual very soon. Okay. Did, if uh, he ritual? had omnipotence, right? I was he endowed with that omnipotence? Well, yeah, he was a god. I mean, As your god, how did he how had more he... omnipotence than most of the gods do? A surprisingly high amount. But, did uh, you guys have anything to do with that? Did you bestow him with anything? No, he 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 woke up and he could just see things. And okay. Where did you find him? We recovered him from the uh, from the ship that fell from yeah. the sky and nursed him back to health. He was Three very years. sick and right. very ill. But why would you go in there then? But your people won't go in there now. Well, they keep dying. We <laughs> yeah. much dead. When we attempted to go back to the ship to find his belongings, that's when he was outside of the ship when we found him. And, uh, when we went yeah. back to recover his belongings, his uh. Uh, there hey was... guys, let's go! This went great! <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jersey Driver, totally. we believe in you, we know you got this, alright? I don't know what I'm gonna do. Deepwater's is... counting on you. You don't have time to be weak like this, alright? Jersey Driver, you're the spiritual leader of these people. You oh. gotta pull this together, okay? And I know you can do it. I'll give them counsel. Uh, this is gonna be very, very trying. Oh, he was our best god. No one said it was gonna be easy. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. All oh right. my god, we just keep talking! Let's go. <laughs> 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 All right, All right. He's where to? Loose. Yeah, right? Yeah, he, 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 he is shell-shocked, and he goes inside of the temple, the temple, the BSP Care Temple. You got this! <laughs> As we're running, I say, is it worth chasing him, or no? <laughs> we, either way, I think we need we to go, try. I think we should try, but either way, we gotta go network, so... Yeah, I know that, yeah. Very, very, very carry. Uh, very very carry. <laughs> yeah, we need her. Okay, very very carry uh, is nearby. Uh, is uh, at a pastry shop, uh, or what you can only assume is a pastry shop. What is she getting? She's eating. Uh, it's, you know, there's some sort of jelly filling, and it's <laughs> sucking out the middle of it because that's how that's how, that's how the they deep, roll. The deep ones do. Very very hey, carry. The bakery. <laughs> oh well, yes, hello. Um, Get oh, so go. let's. Uh, oh, we gotta walk to the castle to, to heal the princess. Yes. Something's happened. I will explain on the way. We need to go back to the surface. For what? Oh. We'll explain on the way. Let's yes. Go. Well, uh, I, we I, do not no, have time. Now. Now. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we wasted too much time continuing to rehash things with Jesse <laughs> Driver. <Yes. laughs> this is oh, very good. I don't take orders from you, <laughs> but yes, uh, very good. Uh, huh. Chosen ones, you listen. Let's go. Yes, all right. Yes, I don't take orders from you. All right, let's cool it. And <laughs> you've been very, very good in helping us. Yeah. We appreciate everything you've done. And you have been fantastic, fantastic, yes. Um, Is she moving at all? Surface? Will I take you, um, for what, what purpose? Uh, well, we I, 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 I can we, speak to my commanding officer, DJ Regular, and... Um, all right, so a lot of things have happened. Uh, the god has ascended. What? He, the god has ascended. He's gone now. How do you what? We saw ascended. It. We saw it happen. I don't know what that means. He ascended. literally is he raised normal? through the ceiling and he's gone now. So well, uh, who? But he was going to he heal the princess. Strength. What a quagmire! Yes, there. this is all part of the process. Uh, We're assuming. We don't know. Uh, well, when, uh, he he was going to put the suit on the princess and 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 it was going to fix her. That was what I was told. Yeah. That's well, he, he changed his mind. How big is Very Berry Carry? Uh, Very Berry Carry's about three, four feet tall. Can you throw them over your shoulder? That's kind of what I'm thinking. Go for it. Um, so I'm just going to pick up Very Berry Carry <laughs> by the back of their like outfit. Like a little kitten? <laughs> yeah. Nothing to see here. Do not be alarmed. <laughs> Any alarm. <laughs> well, please put me down. This is not, a, this is not wise. It's kind of not wise. Uh, Let's keep We're moving. like still in the middle of the city, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is just like us, isn't it? <laughs> we're back. Oh, no, we're back. <laughs> like Garnet Laser Brash does this back. Do we know our way Let's... to the like surface to the area? We did. We let, what did you leave very, very near carry? the? Yes, I left the. Mm. Yeah, yeah. We left the. Uh, we, we left the marker. Yeah, we left yeah, the yeah. tooth. I left the tooth. Our, That's right. Uh, what? Remember? Last time we left a tooth. I left a tooth. I left one of the, the dinosaur the tooth as a marker. Mm -hmm. She gave us dinosaur teeth, and we left it at the marker to the tentacle to find our way back in case we needed. <laughs> And everyone was like, what are you doing? And I was like, we're going to need that. And we still have the bracelets, right? That's what. And we have the bracelets. Yeah. We, let's go. we can theoretically do this ourselves. Yeah, let's yes, do it. Let's go. I'm sorry. Are we trying to get back to the ship or are we trying to get back to like the entrance where our thing was? Either, either one. Probably where our, our entrance, probably. Yeah. Well, well, we'll, no, we'll go for well, it. He, okay, we think that he, uh, uh, Methorg might be going back to his ship, so we might want to go back to that. 
ship. So our ship. Mm-hmm. Right? Make a call, Captain! <laughs> right, right. No, this is internal thinking. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Alright, uh, we go back to Methork's ship. Alright! We remember the way? Yeah. Oh, can you please put me down? Oh, I uh, know. Go ahead and don't. put him down. It was, it All was, right. It was but only because the captain said so. <laughs> he didn't tell me to roll. I roll an at 20, though, on finding the way back to the ship. What, 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 are, what are we rolling for? Um, I'm, well, uh, I'm rolling basically. This is, these are just magical remember. rolls that make things just happen in the plot. We, we just, just use rolls as spells every now and then? Yes, exactly. <laughs> just, it's like, so I do that. It's remembering. Okay, and yeah, remembering that basically happens. Basically, the path to um, go back from where we came. Uh, uh, I mean... We're trying to get back to Methorch's ship. You're... Uh, to Methorch's ship? Is that what we want? Uh, trying to get back... If we, I mean, I suspect that's where he might be going if he's just gonna be leaving, you know? He can't leave in that ship, though. No, but where else would he go? Who cares? We don't need him now. Yeah, maybe not. So back to our old ship? Well, our ship's gone. Then but let's we can go, go to Methorch's ship and then the... get to the civilization. Oh, the what ship? The, no, get to civilization and then go from there. Oh, right, right. But if we go the way we originally came, we'll get back to Red Rock and we have friends there. Also that. Yeah. Mm. Is there just like a ladder up? <laughs> <laughs> he went up. A ladder to the surface? Just on something. Um, no. Yeah. Uh, well, we can, we can get a ride, presumably, from... How, how far away are the entrances, like, geographically, that we travel to? I guess we don't really know, huh? Yes. Mm. Let's go back. You to have you have a guide that could take you. Unwillingly, <laughs> apparently. <sighs> can I try using um, this twenty on diplomacy? Can I? What's that? Can I try using this twenty on diplomacy? <laughs> you can't just save twenties. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled all right. it before. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna try. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Oh, right. Okay. Andrew. Uh, yeah, Andrew just, go. just gonna stock up a. <laughs> yeah. Just, just bank a couple of twenties there. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Tell me what I need to roll for if I want to try to convince. I'm not. Sure, I'm not exactly it. sure uh, what you you are asking. So what I'm um, trying to do right now is I'm trying to convince him to pilot for us. Yes. Yes. Uh, he, uh, no. I, I'm sorry. I don't understand what's happening. You said my god ascended. I need more yeah. explanation here. That's all there from is. You all. That's all there is. We don't know anymore. Why are you going to the surface? Look, your god is trying to get away. We are trying to stop him from getting away. What? Why? Because you you trapped him here, and he said, oh, well, they kept me captive, and then he talked to someone and he left. He wasn't captive. He was. He was. Oh uh, God! He was a good God. He oh was... my gosh! You people love to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't understand. I, I... Them's the facts. Right. I can't just take you to the surface. Why not? Because it is not the mission. The mission is to help the princess. Well, helping I'm the princess is very princess. important. Yes. It's part of the greater mission to save the entire planet. Yeah. Yes. Right. Which is what we're also trying to do. Yes. And and you taking us to the surface is going to help us unite other people and bring other factions together to save the planet. But also, your god stole the suit that would fix your princess. So yes, you're kind of you're kind of doing exactly help. what you're yeah. being ordered to. The tool to save her is with Methork. Yeah, that's a good point. Um well, I will have to um, clear this with my commanding officer. No, nope. listen to the chosen ones. Uh, can Yes, it doesn't work that way. How long it will that doesn't, take? and I start just like making my hand glow. Good, do it. Look, I how will. Far we can't get. keep threatening people. I have a mug. <laughs> <laughs> Look, very big. She stares at you. Use it. She. She stares at you. She's Use done it. nothing but help us. Use it. She's just doing what she's. If you wish best. to kill me, you will not leave this city alive. I don't wish to kill you. This is all for show, baby. You put it away. My hand? Okay. It's in my pocket. Thank you. So what do you suggest? And I withdraw and I give her the finger. Oh, man. (laughs) All right. This needs to cool down immediately. (laughs) Captain's drawing it in again. No more threats. I didn't threaten. Uh, There was definitely a jug of water involved in this somewhere. (laughs) Fluff check. (laughs) Dan has a minus 10 on that. (laughs) I need to check with my commanding officer. How long is that going to take? Every second you take is going to make it harder for us to save her. All right. Well, um, uh, and as you're doing that, the door to the um, cathedral flies open. Okay. And, um, uh, uh, 
Hey, I, 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 there's a note here for you guys. Okay. And uh, he hands you the note. Uh, this note is not written out, uh, 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 but uh, it is from Meth Orc. Oh. <laughs> and it is addressed to the crew. All right. And it, it was in his little his little alcove uh, up up here. Yeah, well, it's not actually. No, it's there. Uh, so so it was it was it was sitting sort of protected in the alcove uh, as he was preparing the ritual. Uh, he found the note. Okay, what is it? I'm gonna read it. You're gonna read it. Um, <clears throat> the note says, and I quote: um, "If you are reading this note, it means that I have retreated to Akaton." I need to give this information to the other contemplatives. We need to find a solution for the Eslanti problem. I apologize for my deception. That, and that's the end? That's the end. Still promising, though. That's very <laughs> promising, because we may get some pact support, but... That'd be nice. Hey, All right. everyone, this is what we were talking about, okay? See? Enough with the questioning about the ascending. This is what happened in black and white. So you saw this, Jersey Driver, yes? Yeah. You see this very, very carry? Uh, yes. Your god wrote this. I snap a picture. I don't know why eyes. he would want to leave. He left he let a good life. It sounds like he so left helpful. to help. Sometimes you have to leave the help. Oh, well, we I suppose we do need some help. We need all the help we can get. And we need to help your princess. Yes. Yes. Right. I think that ship might have sailed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting the impression that All that right. suit didn't do anything to help princesses. Yeah. All you right. something that's not the suit. Well, a uh, 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 plan is forming. Um, yes, yes, let me bring this to DJ Regular, mm -hmm. and, and, and he can approve a, 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 no. a sortie to the surface. All right. All right. Um, yes. Good. And a sortie for... For the battle? To bring back our god, for god's sake! Oh, uh, well, he's working on some stuff, though. Don't you want to just let him work? Well, who's going to heal the princess? We can find, there's gotta be some way. We can figure this out. Huh. Well, you have my solemn promise that we're going to be looking everywhere, every opportunity that we have, we're gonna be thinking about how to solve this problem. But she doesn't have long. I know. Neither does this planet. Well. She probably has less than this planet has. I mean, it's, this planet's been around for a long time. Do you have any other leads on any sort of thing that would heal this type of... Um, no. Not personally. Uh, there are some... Well, uh, there's possibly something that might help, but it was a theory that was floated by someone who's no longer welcome. We'll take theories. Uh, I don't... I don't know if, and uh, uh, this is where the Jersey driver steps in. It's like, nah, no, nah, no good, no. Nope. What is it? Nah, it's some crackpot theory by uh, uh, somebody who's no longer welcome at Castle Thorpe. So, Great, uh, well, let her die. I honestly am done caring. Uh, I mean, if you want to talk to him, it's fine, but uh, everything he says it? is bull crap. What's his name? Where is he? Well, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, a gentleman by the name of uh, Fractured Avatar 15. I can take you to him. Yes, please. He's a crackpot. Does not matter. Don't believe a word he says. That's fine. He's not welcome in the court. Harkle has no faith in him. Hmm. You can listen to him if you like. I think it would probably be best to gather all the information we can. This is very high up on our priority list. We can't, we won't be able to do, I mean, the Deep Ones won't be able to help us unless we help you first, unless we help Harkle and we help Pika Mika first, right? So this is all part of the big plan, and it's a very important part. So all right. every lead, every lead. Every lead. Yes. Uh, all right, uh, well, <laughs> I guess I guess we could take you there real quick. Is that is that where you guys want to go? Yes. You want to go to the surface or you want to go to the castle? How about we do this? Uh, I'll send... Uh, I'll Are send uh, Very Berry Carry over to DJ Regular. They can have a conversation about the uh, uh, sorting to the surface that you guys want to take, and I'll take you over to uh, Fraction Avatars 15's place. All right. All right. Sounds good. Let's do that. All right. Uh, so, yeah, um, uh, uh, Very Berry Carry goes scuttling off uh, toward Castle Tharp. 
uh, to to meet up with the military chief uh, and very or sorry and uh, uh, the Jersey driver uh, takes you through the city uh, uh, quite a ways it's about a five minute walk um, and uh, takes you to a sort of hole uh, in the wall uh, this place has a seems to be like a mechanical door of some kind and uh, like most of the technology that you guys have seen so far is very primitive, but this appears to have been a place that has embraced at least some level of technology and privacy. Mm -hmm. um, it stands out a bit. Might be why they were ostracized. <clears throat> well, here he is. He's a, a like I say, <clears throat> a bit of a crackpot, but you want to talk to him about uh, his theories and whatnot, knock yourself out, all right? All right, thank you. What objection do you have to their theories? You know, he wants to introduce all this, like... <sighs> it wasn't me, frankly. He was making a power grab and trying to, you know, bring the uh, Deep Ones up to the surface and uh, incorporate them with the uh, humans. It's, it's madness. You know, we've been down here for hundreds of years and everything's been fine. I don't know. He's definitely, you know, in the head. So, whatever. You want to talk to him, it's fine. All right. Will you wait out here? I got things to do. I got a ritual to prepare. We just lost a god. All right. It seems like you have a lot of practice in preparing this. You lose gods all the time. No, no, no. You've seen about a dozen of them. None like this. How did the last one go? Oh, you were the one before? Yeah. Tell me, GM. It was... (laughs) 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 Nah, he was sick. He was sick? Yeah, he was sick. He just passed away? Yeah. Should have had a suit. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> These things happen, you know. We we don't, uh, you know, we don't always know what uh, what is best for the uh, the people who come to us, the the gods who, you know, approach us and make themselves known to us. So can't always take care of them. So uh, right. he was sick. Okay. All right. Well, we'll uh, we'll find you. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Knock knock. Um, no, I'm telling you a joke. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, you see. One of those little, sort of a little Star Wars thing, kind of pop open. See a couple of big googly eyes, bespectacled googly eyes. Uh, Hi. And you see before you a a delightful looking uh, deep one uh, wearing uh, literally a lab coat and uh, a, a, a sort of little goggles and. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah, he looks like he looks like Zoidberg, yeah. No, no, Zai, it's Zai as I know, yeah, oh, it's Zai, yeah, right. Little lab coats. Uh, no, yeah, <laughs> looking looking like a little green Zoidberg. Uh, I'm not going to do the Zoidberg voice, so I want to get sued. Um, but he's like, oh. Oh, Tyler, you wouldn't be good enough for the Zoidberg voice to be sued. No, thank you, thank you, it's so true. <laughs> it might be. Wow. I Sorry, I bet you no, no, great no, no. at the Zoidberg voice. <laughs> Uh, uh, on this one. <laughs> uh, uh, and he, uh, yes, he he looks at you and he's like, uh, I've been meaning to contact you uh, for a while. Uh, uh, how how are you? What are you doing Hello. here? Hello. We are the garden at Laser Bash Death. Hi. We're the chosen because ones. We are the chosen ones. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Princess is sick. And you're in the you're the, you're the prophecy, yeah. help her. How do we help her? What do you mean? Uh, oh yeah. Oh, what? The princess is sick. How do we help her? Yeah, I know the princess is sick. I live here. Yes. We heard you had a theory on how to help. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, it's a, it's a theory. It's, a, um, it's more than a theory. If you had to be, if it had to be more. Than I haven't a theory, told it to you it? yet. It's more than, I don't care. It's the only way to help her, so we're going to try and make it work. May we come inside? Yeah, come on, come, come on inside. I appreciate it. Slipping into my New Jersey accent. Um, you, drink, you drink whiskey. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not here right. for a really. drink, William. Uh, yeah, yeah, come in, come in. This. It's a, uh, have, have a seat, and um, yeah, you can see the inside. And he's got, you know, gadgets. It, it's, it seems like he's got a little toaster there. He's got batteries. Um, Mira doesn't say. Yeah, she, she's like by the door. She's like, let's go, let's go, let's find this theory. Let's just give me the potion and let's get out. So, uh, <laughs> um, well, uh, yeah. Um, first of all, I. How, how did you guys find out about me? I, I haven't really been... Uh, We've heard you're a bit of a pariah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean... Way to make friends, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Other people kept being like, no, we're not going to talk about that guy. No, we're nope, not, not him. And then we were like, tell <laughs> us. Well, yeah, I was, um, I was, I, I guess you could call it a downfall uh, it, once, uh, once the princess got sick. Um, I, I, I've always been a little... 
you know, different than the other deep ones. And so uh, I, I think there were some people who definitely wanted to see me removed from power. And, uh, yeah, you've got a lot of interesting tech here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh, just some of my collection. It's what, I, what I've been able to gather in my travels. So, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, is there some sort of uh, emergency? The princess has been sick yes. for three months. We, we're, we were led on a quest to try to save her, and your god betrayed us, and now we need any solution we can that to save her. That wasn't a god. It was yeah, a contemplative. I, yeah, I kept trying to yeah. tell people. This guy gets it. Yeah. Yeah. This is a yeah. giant Islandi empire coming towards us. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. would love to hear this theory of yours. Well, I mean, it's not really a theory. I, just, I would just love to hear it, please. <laughs> I think the princess was poisoned. <laughs> okay. By whom? I don't know. With what? I, I knew there was foul play going on. I have some ideas as to who might have done it, but... Uh, what are your theories? Well... I actually think we're not in a rush anymore now that we're pretty much never going to catch Methor. Plus he's off trying parts. to do something. Sure, sure, that's a rush, but like kind of a low-key rush. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, there, you know, there's... Like not skip lunch rush or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, the, uh, you know, Harkul is very old and, um, you know, it, it's a question of secession and so who has the most to benefit from secession and... Frankly, I've been a little concerned about the growth of the uh, Church of the Methork, and um, don't I worry, think, we put uh, a stop to that. Yeah, that's, that's that's driver. Done. Jersey driver, very possible. He had every reason to do it. I think uh, maybe Methork himself could have done it. You know. Do you know what kind of poison it was? No, but uh, you know, it's I, I've seen people eating the wrong kinds of mushrooms a lot, and. Uh, they kind of get little bonkers, and so, um, you know, I... Similar symptoms? Yeah, you know, going crazy and uh, attacking people and stuff like that. You know, never to the extent that I seen with that, you know, they feel like she might have been fed some magic mushrooms or something crazy like that, uh, you know, because the normal mushrooms that we stick to, uh, you know, they'll make you go bonkers for a, a couple of hours, but, uh, you know, eventually it's fine, so... Do you have access to these mushrooms, or...? Well, I don't even know what kinds of mushrooms it, it would be. If would we could get you to her, mushrooms. would you be able to... I don't know. Run I'm not tests. a doctor. I don't. You no, know. but you it's just do. My theories. You do have a lot of salvage tech in here. Mm -hmm. Is any of this from any of the scrap wave colonies or ships? Yeah, uh, no, it's mostly like household appliances and stuff. Hmm. Is there For a like, first aid kit in here anywhere? A first aid kit? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I know we probably got one somewhere. Uh, why you why need you a first ask? aid kit? You gonna give her first aid? You think we hadn't tried that before? Well, <laughs> but if, but if someone on the inside is poisoning her. We're a third party. We can. Yeah, I don't think so. I, I don't know what we... you're talking about. Look, is this a sort of poison that, if not continuously introduced into her system, will agreed like go away? I don't As even in, know what kind of poison it is. This is just my theories. In our freezer. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, the ship's gone. If she, if she was removed <laughs> from this situation, maybe it would get better. I don't know. There's it, how do we stop? I think we have to break her out. out. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> First of all, let me just nip this in the bud real quick. We're not going to take her away by force. Agreed. <laughs> okay. That's yeah, not going to happen. she was crazy. Yeah. Yeah, so we're nipping that one in the bud. Uh, she needs her help, though. Would you be able to describe uh, the mushrooms that are poisonous to your people? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, I know what the what the bad ones are. Most of them. Would you Most to, of the people know what the bad ones are, too. They stay would you be able them. to load those into um, our comm units so we'd be able to know? Uh, yeah, sure. I think, I mean, it's not really catalog, but I could go, I got a couple of, you know, different files that I could send to you guys, sure. So you know these mushrooms are bad, yeah. which means, which... None of them do, none of them doing what, what is being done to her, though. True, but you know what the, you know, you know these mushrooms are bad, uh, which means that someone has probably at one point in time accidentally eaten them. Do you just let them die? What was your solution? To we it? never seen nothing like this before. I don't know. No, but I'm I'm, I'm talking separate of the princess. I'm okay. talking about the people who eat these mushrooms. Yeah, they don't die. They just go crazy for a little bit and then they're fine. So those are the ones you're talking about, like the bad mushrooms. Yes. Yeah, 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 yes. yeah. No, they go crazy for a little bit and, uh, and they sleep stops? it off. Yeah. These be detectable in a blood test or something? With the bad mushrooms? Well, yeah, any of these, yeah, the, like the mushroom element, the, 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 whatever chemicals are doing it. Uh. 
Maybe. I mean, they'd done blood tests on her before, but they didn't find anything. All right. Who did the blood test? Uh, shovel of 4211. And, uh, you know, various people. Do you trust them? Well, I mean, sort of. Uh, they're the ones who have access to her. I, you know, I, I don't know. I, I assume he knows what he's doing. But you she, believe She that knows what she's doing? You believe that she was poisoned? That the princess was poisoned, yeah. It sounds yeah, yeah, like yeah. it's being continuously introduced to our food supply. How would that be detected? Is there a way we can confirm your theory? I mean, if you guys want to take a blood test of her, you could probably, you know, take it to me, and, and I'll see if it matches up against... Go find this <laughs> How much blood do you need? Just, Yeah, you know, Mech's got a whole bunch of mugs, so we can... <laughs> just, we can just shall we bring bit? you a pint of princess blood? <laughs> uh, you know... Uh, perhaps more. Probably uh, just a little a little vial would, would be fine. Do you have an extra little vial? Well, we can probably oh, sure, ask yeah. one if they take if they do blood tests already. We could just yeah. Shoveler four two one one is the med chief. Yeah, that's I'm that's the doctor. Hesitant to bring anyone else into this. I quite agree. Honestly, you have any of those darts left? I got plenty of darts, but taking, I mean, blinding her was bad <laughs> enough. <laughs> no, no, taking no. blood from her <laughs> might be one toke over the line. That's why. Sweet Jesus. <laughs> Hmm. I'm saying that I think that if there is, you know, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Malintent? Yeah. Yeah, if there's malintent in play here. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> sorry. No, uh, no, I thought it was something good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> something else. If, it is uh, something else, don't worry. Yeah, 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 I was like, hold on. I was like, hold on, what is the word? No, I swear to God, I'm not laughing at you. <laughs> but yeah, we also have... Uh, no, if, 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 there's, if there's something... It's so hot in here. Yeah. There's something shady as fuck going around here. <laughs> Presumably. <laughs> uh, the, uh, we should not bring anyone else into this because we don't know who is poisoning her. Fractured Avatar 15, I have an indelicate question for you. Yeah, go ahead. Do deep ones defecate? Oh, yeah. What? Of course. Because it might be easier to get, get a soil... Sand. Sheet or something than getting blood. Gross. Yes, I know, but medicine is medicine. I mean, the the, the test for that is a little bit different. Um, Smellier, I know. <laughs> yeah. That seems like an even weirder request to try and get from the med chief. <laughs> yeah. Should we no, just but, wait under her? <laughs> I don't know if they'll let us back in there again after last I time. No, that. but we might be able to follow uh, a yeah. maid or something and steal the crap. <laughs> I told right. you it was an indelicate question. So, okay, we have this problem. That's weird. <laughs> we also have the problem that they they want to form a sortie to go get their god back, which is going to delude any efforts they're going to have in defending the planet for, firstly of all, second, who knows what the hell they'll get up to. But we know that he's gone back to Akaton, so... Yeah, he's gone, so yeah. they won't find him, presumably. Plus, don't they try to stay pretty secretive, maybe? Yeah. Are they going to just go for it? I don't know, probably not. So maybe we don't have to worry about that too much. Um, okay, this this is a complete shit show. This this enclave. Sorry, <laughs> well, he gets it. <laughs> oh, well, then we can say that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 that's fine. <laughs> no. They say that on AMC all the time. Yeah, so. this is AMC tier. Yeah. So, um, things are really bad here. I say we let it just simmer for a minute, and we should go focus on the rest of everything we have to do. Do we think the princess has that kind of time? Maybe not, but I I honestly am not sure what we can do to help right now. We need to find out who's administering her meals. Right. We can... There are a lot of sick people in the world. They can't all be our responsibility. No, it seems that the prime reason that we want to save the princess is to get the Deep Ones on our side. Yes. Mm-hmm. Which will... Now, if we do that by basically making an enemy of them, it may be counterproductive. Defeat the purpose. Now, I'm not against helping the princess, but let's make sure that it is working towards our goals. The one person we know that we can talk to that definitely has Pikamika's best interest in heart are gonna be, is going to be Harkel. So why don't we discuss all of this with Harkel? That's a great point. All right. We can learn all the information about who takes care of her, who feeds her, who does all the medicine. I'm Before, sure he would even be willing to blood, let us. Even a blood vial. Yeah. Before we leave, 
who stands to inherit the throne if the princess were to die? Oh, uh, it would probably go to, uh, um, we would have to go to a, a, a council, um, it w- would have to decide amongst themselves. The, the, the council would have to elect someone to step into the leadership position. Who's so. most popular? Is, well, um, I mean, probably was Jersey Driver. Knew it. Uh, Called it. <laughs> until. Uh, but what if he recently lost a god? <laughs> well, yeah, I That's mean, he was. pretty irresponsible. He was being bolstered pretty hard by uh, Methork, and, uh, you know, because he was. He was like the best god we ever had. And, and does Frank, this council only yeah. happen on the death of your leader, or yeah. is it they step down and at some point? No, no, only it, it's a lifetime. Okay, it's a lifetime thing. So that was my concern in case Harkle was securing their own rule. Right. Yeah. Okay. I said we talk to Harkle. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's okay. do. Okay. Um, so. Uh, all right. Well, I'll, I'll wait here. And so, you, if you guys want to bring back a blood test, I, uh, you know, I'm at, I'm at your service. If you have any questions, uh, yeah, please send us those files of any any theories you have. Any, okay. Uh, any yeah, yeah. My help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have questions. Thanks. I have a she, good like, question. She like reaches through her stuff and gives you her flashlight. <gasps> oh, hey! Look at that! It's shiny. Yeah. Very nice. By chance, you don't have any drift stones in here, do you? Oh no. Well, what do you mean? What? Drift stones? Yeah. Oh, this is my theory. Yes. Go ask. Uh, uh, no, I mean not like processed drift stones. Y- y- we take no, an unprocessed we're, one. We're but... surrounded by drift rock. No, I understand that, but you have a lot of salvage. Oh no! To have one, would you? No, no. I mean, no. I've never, I've never found it. A, a this is a toaster. Stone, something that's been. It's most. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, mostly. I know what a toaster a, looks like, Captain. Like honestly, uh, you know, it's mostly appliances. I, I have some, you know, some lab equipment uh, that I've been able to recover, but I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have any need for a drift stone here. I mean, you're welcome to have a look around. I'm just thinking. She, she, she turns to twelve and is like, "It was a good thought." I'm thinking about back when we were in that cave with the Viceroy Bathard, and we were exposed to a lot of driftstone. Yeah. And we started seeing things because of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's oh, yeah. Point. Ah. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Um, would she have it? But Let's it go see have... the king. Yeah. All right. Or was that Chief Hartle's title? Chief. Oh, sorry, Deepest One. Deepest One. Officially Hartle's title. Um, All right, cool. Yeah, uh, I'll be here. Uh, So you guys make your way over to uh, uh, Castle Tharp. On the way, very, very carry, uh, scuttles up to you and... Oh, oh, God, great news. Uh, We we have permission to leave immediately. Great, Um, we're staying put. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) uh, Continue. No, no, no. We we, 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 we bring our God back. Yes, yeah, so she can heal, uh, so he can heal the princess. Right. Great uh, news. We're gonna talk to Harko real fast. Oh. Hold tight. All right. Be ready, because we're gonna go any moment. Oh, I'll be ready. here. This right. is very exciting. Mm. I feel like it shakes. <laughs> are are you? You guys don't like to make yourselves known to the surface people, right? How no, do you, no, no. How no. do you intend to go up and not run into anyone? We turn into rocks. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Can yes. You see? If you've ever seen a rock. There's a good chance that you're looking straight at a deep one. Sorry, I zoned out. Who are we talking to? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, uh, very sorry, very, very carry. Oh, right, right. I, yes. I said our, our sortie to the surface has been approved by DJ Regular. Also, I ta- like remembered Viceroy Bathroom and how we faced him down, and how we were exposed to those drift stone and drift rock, and how we started seeing things because of that, and we were trying to see if there's a parallel between that and the princess. Oh, yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll, I'll be here when, you, when you're when you ready, and I'll get, get my supplies all set, and we can leave immediately. All right, go ahead. No, no, good. With his little knife. No, no, oh my no, God. Go <laughs> no. Enough! No, I'm not threatening. I'm uh, threatening you, Tyler. <laughs> oh, we're threatening, we're threatening the DM. My one true son. <laughs> all right. Um, uh, so, yes, you guys uh, make your way into Castle Harkle. Uh, you're greeted at the entrance by two armed guards. Well, armed. They're armed with knives, um, and uh, they they greet you. And, hey, what is your business at the castle? Uh, we need to talk to uh, the deepest one. Oh, Arkel. Mm-hmm. Most exalted Arkel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, yes, we can see if he's available. Tell Moots about his daughter, so it's urgent. Yeah, can't oh. wait. 
Oh. Oh! Yeah, yes. I know who you are. So. Chosen ones. Yeah. Come we with me. Yes, 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 of course. The chosen ones. Uh, excellent. She will be very excited to see you. And um, Meth Orc is, is, is he's, he's no longer around. Uh, the word has gotten about. Uh, okay. Horrible tragedy. Yeah, it's yeah, too right. bad. Come, 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 come. And <laughs> it's he's, too he's, bad. He's walking on, on, on his two little stubby legs. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yes. The, the, the princesses, I should tell you, uh, the princesses... Uh, Status has, has declined somewhat. Uh, oh. So. No, I think he means it in a bad way. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> her madness has uh, inclined. Yes. Her wellness has declined. <laughs> <laughs> her, her, her health is. Declined. And I was like, oh, that's a good thing. Her health is declining. There we and, go. Um, <laughs> well, Harkle is very distressed. She was very thrilled upon the news that you had returned. Anyway, here she is. Uh, I'll, I'll allow her to talk to you. And you guys uh, go to the private quarters of Harkel. Um, another guard posted at the door. The two guards exchange pleasantries in deep one. And he steps aside and you enter into Harkel's private quarters. She is sitting at, uh, at her desk, or what appears to be a desk, sort of a inset, uh, you know, cave ledge. Um, and she looks at you guys, and she looks very, very distressed. Um, she rises to her feet, and she goes, So Methork is gone, huh? Yes, yeah, he left. <sighs> he, was our, he was our one help. No, what he a, wasn't. What a day, right? Yes, it's horrible. It's horrible. Your one hope for saving your daughter, or your one hope for... For all of it. <laughs> all of it. That's not, not true. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do. Revoke is gone. I don't think she has long. But he did leave us with some direction. Before he left, he said the prophecy is true. And if there's one thing that's clear in the prophecy, it's that you need to end up coming above. It says, four young monarchs, their forebears deceased, must come above to slay the beast. Besides that, it talks about uh, uh, break them from their rocky tomb or sentence them to certain doom. All of that sounds like staying underground is is pretty lame -o. You're getting very good at this fashion. <laughs> yeah. I like poetry. <laughs> That's true. I hadn't thought about it that way. I thought more perhaps that we come to the surface and overthrow the invaders, but... That that may be, but I think there are more urgent matters at hand, such as your daughter, seeing how her health has declined. Um, we think there's a way to help, but we need access to her. We have a few questions for you, if that's all right. Yeah. Um, more I, I don't see what harm it could do at this point. She's, she's more, got days, maybe. More most. importantly, and possibly most importantly, it needs to be only yourself and us, because this may be the doing of someone else. How do you mean? What the doing? Huh? Who? Is this chamber secure? Like, oh well, yes. Is there anyone else in the in the chamber as well? No, no. Just my royal guard is outside. But how does she eat? How does she eat? She's she is fed by Shoveler Four Two One One. <laughs> Is there any? The symptoms kind of seem like uh, drift, drift rock hallucinations. Does that seem like that makes sense to you? Oh, I, no. Well, no, that doesn't make any sense. We, no. we live, we live with drift rock. Have you? Do you eat it? No. Have I you tried to eat it? <laughs> drift rock. We we should before we <clears throat> speculate. We mm -hmm. should just go get a blood sample. Can we go get one right now? Um. Uh, Blood sample. I suppose so. I, I don't know what harm it could do. All right. I'll, I can take you to her. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And so, uh, yeah, she makes her way outside of her little uh, uh, quarters and takes you down to the dungeon. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, wait. Why, I still have laboratory uh, <laughs> going on. All right. Yeah. Let's switch over to something else. Here. This one. Okay. Um, and uh, takes you to the uh, to the underground uh, room, the vast underground room where they are holding Pika Mika. Uh, it's just as you left it. Pika Mika is what is at one end in her little four-poster bed, 
Um, uh, she appears to be sleeping, luckily. Uh, she has a nurse attending to her at the moment. Uh, not Shoveler4211, uh, but someone else. Good. I would like to do a quick search of the ground, specifically right under the bed or around the bed to see if I can find anything. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, yeah, uh, she, she first of all, dismisses the nurse, and yeah, the nurse yeah, immediately yeah. leaves. Um, and so, yeah, she takes you over, and she says, I'll ask sincerely that you please. Keep quiet and don't wake her. Right. How um how do they normally take blood samples? <laughs> um, usually it is Shoveler four two one one who does that. She, she has a um a, 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 a kit that she has recovered from the surface that takes the blood. We, we were told that there are certain mushrooms your people do not react to. Are there any physical symptoms of that? Of what? I'm sorry, mushrooms? Yes. I'm talking uh, to the nurse right now. No, I'm talking to the nurse. <laughs> Merkel. I, I've heard that there are poisonous mushrooms, but we don't eat those. Do we have a med kit? Uh, I do. Probably one of you does. It's yeah. probably got a syringe, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Great. Let's just take I, a blood. Yeah. All right. I, I was trying to see if there's any like, uh, physical got, telltale medicine signs. medicine skill? Anybody? I have none. I have none. I, well, in my on my old character sheet, I have a tiny bit. <laughs> I mean, can you can you use it untrained? That's I do have question. life science. Let me look in here. I mean, we're not really trying to. Right. Like, if not, I can try to fix just like you, yeah, see what I mean. This is get more blood. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, try to you can't do medicine hand. untrained. Okay. So okay. But is this really medicine? Yeah, because we're not here. Uh, would, yep. would a sleight of hand help, like to to be gentle and not so bad? <laughs> I have a plus. <laughs> all right, 12 all right. Let's test this science. theory. Okay. I've got a syringe. Let's. If I can take his blood <laughs> successfully, okay, then we can do it without untrained, right? Uh, I'm wait, just what? I don't, I don't have a syringe. And <laughs> you got so pencils. <laughs> so if we were to do like, if we were to try to use a syringe, what type of could, could we even attempt it? Or is it not even possible without medicine skill? Um, no, you can attempt it. Um, it'll probably be, I guess, an attack roll. Really? I don't know. Not life science? <laughs> oh, no. Like well, then I should do it because yeah. I have the highest I can, I can be convinced. <laughs> I can be convinced that it's life science. Yeah, um, because this is knowing the anatomy rather than trying to, like, heal. Yeah, but, I mean, life science is a, uh, uh, it is an intelligence-based. Okay, I'm intelligent. And, and, and so... <laughs> It's it's not really dealing with the like a physical action. It's more yeah, it's like knowledge knowing things, not doing than it is yeah. doing something. Listen, um, I've read the book. If we were to be anything, we could call the nurse. Back. Sleight of hand no. probably would be one of the best. You could call the nurse back in. Bet you the nurse is taking blood. But do I we trust the nurse? I exactly. don't trust the nurse. I want to detect magic in the room, one. please. Detect magic in the room. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, you cast detect magic, and there is a an aura. Emanating from Pika Mika. Oh. Okay. Uh, it is a familiar kind of aura. Okay. Something that you have seen previously. Is there anything I can? Can I roll mysticism? Yeah. Why don't you? Why don't yeah. you roll mysticism for me before I just blurt it out? No, blurt it. Blurt. blurt <laughs> no, no, no. no, no. Roll, roll your damn mysticism. I want to see you fail this. <laughs> <laughs> it's abjuration. No, no, no. Roll. This roll is going to TPK us. Uh, I have a re-roll. Do you want my re-roll? Seven. So it's a 19? 19 is good enough. Yeah. Okay. Um, That's uh, all I'm aiming for. Good yes, enough. It, it, it has that same sort of drift-like appearance uh, that you've seen emanating from both the deep yes. water and the uh, uh, the drift rock. So maybe she's just being poisoned with the with the deep water, too, as possible, right? Yeah. Yeah. Slow dosages. Um, and I'm not getting that... Uh, from anywhere else in the room, correct? Uh, no. Like, not from the walls or... Okay. No. If we... Or do our bracelets glow if we, they get close to... Ooh, them? great question! <laughs> <laughs> you can try it. Okay, I'm gonna very stealthily... Give, work, give work. me a sleight of hands. Okay. Do-do-do-do, that's gonna be a... Oh, that was 20. on a 20 in it. 
Yeah. yeah Toggled over. Yeah, it was almost the name. Still pretty good. Still 26? Pretty good. Yeah. yeah, you're you're able to uh, kind of uh, 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 get up close to her, and you get it kind of <clears throat> next to her skin very gently, and yeah, yeah, it would... When you get really close, mm -hmm. there is that tingling. Mm -hmm. That familiar tingling. See this, Harpo? I'm, I'm going to point at it and not say anything, but it's like... <laughs> Why are we being quiet? We don't talk to them. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> these uh, these bracelets only glow in the presence of Driftstone or Deepwater, correct? Well, yes. And I am detecting a lot of magical energy coming off of your daughter, specifically related to Driftstone. And so she got sickened by the drift. She maybe she's been poisoned. Like, uh, how much drift water? How much? Yes. How much deep water can your people take before they actually die? Yes. I don't, we've never tested that before. I, I don't know. I, no. I, I mean, it, it's 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 like it burns us. It, it, it's. I, I I don't know. We've ever tried to drink it to the point of death. I'm sorry, can, can we have this conversation outside? Yeah, or? we can, yes. Are you going to take the blood? I, I don't think we need I it. We need it. <laughs> I think okay. that from this point on, you should administer any drink or water or any meal that goes to your daughter. Personally. It should be you. You think somebody's been poisoned? Absolutely. Better safe than sorry. Do you have any, since deep water burns you, do you have any sort of salve or ailments that you use to treat those sorts of wounds? No, no, it's just treated like normal wounds. I mean, it's, it just, it just burns. It's like, it's like an acid in, to us. Yeah, but acid can be neutralized. Oh, all right. I'll take your word <laughs> for it. Um, point is, is that she's certainly not going to get any better from continuing to consume the deep water, so stopping it might help, or at least won't continue to decline her health. And, and if so, there's any chance that it's coming from the outside, you should take whatever precaution you can. Yeah. And if your med chief is the one who's been administering food and drink, then I think that's the next person we need to visit. Do All we right. need to visit them, or should we be going to the surface at the, for the moment and then coming back? This is this is Team Garnelay's Abrasta conversation. Team? Yeah. I dig it. Hmm. So. Character. I, th I, think, I think finish the mission. Which would be, what, what are your, I don't think we need to talk to... Um, if we talk to Shoveler, what would we want? To find out if she's the one poisoning the princess. I... By just asking her? Or? No. We don't do things by asking. We do things <laughs> by doing things terribly wrong. <laughs> Listen, before we go around accusing people, you know as much as I love doing that, as you know. But before we go around accusing people, I think that it is worth trying, like, you know, make this an experiment. See <clears throat> if she like improves or declines over the next day or so, um, with food or water being administered by Harkle, mm -hmm. and then seeing if there's any change in that. And if there is or if there isn't, we go from there. Um, because if there isn't, then maybe we have been wrong. It does seem as though this drift stone would show up in their blood, correct? Mm -hmm. But we are incapable of taking blood samples. So, if they have taken samples before, Shoveler 15 must be switching them out somehow. Tampering with them. Mm -hmm. What if we were to catch them in the act? Mm -hmm. hmm. That would surely undermine any trust that Harkle has. That's a good point. We could it would also save us waiting around for a couple yeah. days to yeah. make sure to see if things get better. <laughs> we, could, we could search um, the med bay for evidence. I'm saying that instead of doing, instead of just waiting here, we go start talking to the people that we need to unite sure, above but ground. Well, what I'm saying is, yeah. if we ask Shoveler 15 yeah. to take a blood sample, uh -huh. observing them closely as they do it, right. there's got to be some point where they try to make a switch or, or do something to change out what has happened. Exactly. I mean, as far yeah. as I'm concerned, Shoveler is guilty right now, and... But this would we... remove any doubt. Especially and put it, a stop to. And proving it to us isn't as important right now as proving it to Harkle. Agreed. Does Harkle seem like they don't believe us at the moment? They saw your gl bracelet girl glow. I feel the like deep we're... ones seem like the sort that decide something and believe it very hard. They don't seem to take deception as a 
<coughs> possibility. All right, I think this is an unnecessary step, but if this is what we have to do, I mean, it's, it's do. still it's recruiting a... one faction to our goal. I think this faction would come onto us in their own time anyway. But and it shouldn't right. take it shouldn't take very long if we can figure out how all he's right. doing it. You guys, from from the bed, I, I, I it sounded like you guys were still having this conversation. No, we said we stepped outside. Oh, you stepped outside? Yeah. yeah. Cool, all right. <laughs> <laughs> no, we very clearly well, did yeah, say that. I was like, yeah, yeah. okay, yeah, all right. Yeah. I, I missed that part, so okay. that's fine. Okay. <laughs> <I'm> terrible. <Yeah. laughs> was Harkel within earshot for all of this then? Or was no, this, we okay. made sure I was this like, was Team Garnet, yeah. laser yeah. brushed up. Okay, yeah. It didn't say anything, but I, I, I assumed you had stepped aside. So. Mm-hmm. Okay. You very right. clearly so, uh, said Team Laser. Yeah, so now I'll go back to Thank you, thank you. All right, we have an idea. Okay. Um, I, we don't know if it is going to be Shoveler, but uh, if if you ask to get a blood sample for us and we secretly observe, then we can see if there's any type of switch with the blood samples, or, or if any foul play is at work, we can observe it. Okay. If that would put your mind at ease. Yes. Yes, we can do that. Um, would you like me to watch summon... them take the blood sample? I also yeah, that's wanna... what we're saying. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't well, think there needs to be any like we don't, sneakiness about it. Well, the the less obvious we are about the fact that we're watching him too is probably better. If I just wear my ring in the room and just watch what he does and follow him, that's true. Right? All right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, cool. So uh, Harkle goes to summon Shoveler four two one one. It's have to get a runner, so it takes a little bit, five minutes. Uh, run down, get Shoveler 4211, there's an issue with the princess. Uh, Shoveler 4211 eventually appears, um, and uh, you see her approach, and she comes up to you and she's like, yes, there's an, an issue with the princess. I I, yes. have heard, I was summoned. Har- Harkel, can you explain what's happening? Um, y- yes, uh, they were like to draw blood from the princess. Is is that correct? Yeah, we need a blood sample if that's all right. If you oh, we're willing to step outside, outside uh, too. Yes, so you can have a yes, let me get my kit. Wonderful. And I will go draw a blood sample. Um, I, I will need uh, several nurses to assist uh, to help hold the oh, princess. Oh, we'll gladly this, help. That's fine. This is a very... No, no that's all right. <laughs> we'll, we'll wait outside. We have, I have nurses that I trust. They will need to hold her down. This mm. is, you've heard that her um, that her symptoms have... Worsened. Yeah. It's quite distressing. Yeah, the sooner we can uh, get the blood samples, the sooner we can try to help with whatever technology we have. Well, I, I, I hope that you can assist with it, with that then. Um, all right, I will go get my kit, and uh, Shovel 421 uh, goes to a little cabinet, uh, uh, pulls out. It's a fairly old uh, uh, med kit, you know, probably recovered from a... Uh, a, a crashed vessel uh, at some point, but, mm-hmm. it, you know, they, they've kept it in relatively good shape. This planet um, is really bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know it is. It is. Well, you're far from any repair facilities. It's it's way out in the vast. Once you've right. gotten here, chances are your ship is not in great condition. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That's, and that is lore, actually, deep water lore, so, um, from the yeah. core rulebook. Um, uh, so, yeah, she uh, uh, grabs uh, it and uh, summons several nurses, and they're like, well, um... I will be right back with the blood. All right, cool. Cool. I'll, uh, leave the do- leave the door open for him and just be like. Okay, okay cool. And they head down into the darkness. Okay. <laughs> See you guys on the flip side. <laughs> the ring wraiths appear. No. Oh. Um, <clears throat> uh, side. Shire. <laughs> okay. Um, what happens they make their way. not getting sued? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I give up. Uh, so, <laughs> Shoveler 4211, uh, they make their way kind of stealthily over, and uh, the nurses hold down the manacles, trying to maneuver so that she is laying, uh, that Pikamika is kind of laying in a spread eagle fashion. Um, and um, they manage to get her kind of tight, and eventually she wakes up and. She uh, she starts. She's like ah, the first one, the first one. Right? And foam starts to form. And she starts to struggle. She's like the blood, the blood is running through the teeth. And uh, uh, shoulder four two one one. Uh, it runs over and, and tries to grab. And and she's she's got the syringe. And she's like. Ugh. She's looking around, but the nurses are all trying to hold it down, and she's like... Mm-hmm. 
she's trying to get a vein, but she can't quite get it. <laughs> this is barbaric medicine. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and finally, she gets like, um, like blood just starts welling up uh, uh, from the arm. And, and, and she grabs like a cloth and starts dabbing up that blood and starts squeezing it into the syringe. Gross. <laughs> and, and, and she's like, okay, okay, I got it. Our, um, and, and she, <laughs> I really want she's to like, check the med bay. <laughs> my little, uh, everything I have on me is invisible as well, right? If I'm, if yeah. I'm in the ring. So yes. like, Same. um, these, the, do you know anything about like the darts? It's it, the darts are only like one way, right? They only inject. They're injection right? darts. Yeah. Okay. I might just try to snag that like rag though. If he puts it down. Um, if she puts it down. Uh, uh, like, what, I'm, I'm watching for an opportunity to like capture some of this blood somehow. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, and she, I'm she, also uh, watching very closely just the syringe itself. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, give me give me perception roll. Oh, perceive. Perceive now. Perceive it. Perceive if you've ever perceived. Hey, nice. Okay. That's going to be a... Uh, uh, 31. 31. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Um, yeah. The, no sleight of hand, uh, no trickery. She just seems really clumsy. Um, <laughs> uh. Yeah, yeah. She's not good at this. Hmm. And this is like the medicine chief, right? Yeah. Supposedly. Uh huh. What does this all mean? Um, yeah, so yeah. Um, so <laughs> she's she squeezed uh, uh, the That's blood and she kind of wipes it on her shirt and then um, An you know uh, puts the cap back on. And she's like, she squeezes a little blood out onto a table and then uses a syringe to kind of soak up that blood. And she just oh, puts it in the, the, her, her jacket pocket and uh, then um, heads back out. Can I sleight of hand the rag, the bloody rag? Uh, out of her pocket? Uh, I, I, no, just off of the... She, or did she, she, she put, put it in her, her, she put in her pocket, oh, yeah. Okay, never mind then. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm just going to, like... Just try to scoop some up <laughs> with my hand. There's like a big pile of blood, right? Uh, I mean, you know, a, a decent, a decent amount. She did some, she did some damage with that syringe. Uh, so. I don't have any containers on me at all? Yeah, you have your flask. I have my flask. <laughs> <laughs> that will denature all of the, you know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If only it wasn't full of alcohol all the time. <laughs> um, <laughs> Maybe, so, do I have any more empty darts? How many? I only filled up like five, right? I think so. Yeah. Mm. Drain one. Chug it. It's just full of water. Uh, yeah. Okay, I do have six darts, and I filled up five of them. So if I have one dart left, can I just like scoop up with the back of the? Well, sure. Well, yeah. well, well, the problem with that though is that if, <laughs> if the dart was filled with the deep water water, and then it mixes it with the blood, isn't that the same? Oh no, this is a this is like an empty one. This okay, is my, it's my an empty only, one. My Got only it. empty dart. Okay, yeah. I mean, you're able to get a little. It's it's awkward as hell, yeah. but you're able I'm to get. I'm as good as I'm as good as. Uh, you're as good as the, the, the <laughs> yeah professional doctor. <laughs> it sounds like uh, instead of uh, malice. Incompetence might be yeah. uh, like incompetence. causing yeah. their blood tests to come back negative. Yeah, very well could be. The deep ones are terrible. <laughs> <laughs> They're not good at a lot of things. Mira should, wanted to shoot that person. Should we side right. with no. the brain jar? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, scoop just a little bit of blood in the thing, put it, and then I'm going to follow and watch, make sure where she goes. Yep, yeah, she goes She goes straight back up, and um, and she's like, well, uh, uh, wait, wait. Managed to get a sample. She was struggling quite a bit, so we only got a little bit. But hopefully, this is enough um, for what you need to do. Who, who do I give this? Is, where did the captain go? Is good. I'll take to give that. this to I'll you. Or? I'll take it. Oh, all right. The Thank captain you. had to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Understandable. Um, and did, did you recover laboratory equipment from the surface then to to run additional tests or? Uh, we gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> nice. Literally what Mira was gonna say. She just looked at you and like, yeah. Right. Yeah. Very, very well. Um, let's uh, go. I will try to calm the uh, the princess. Please do. And what was she? What does she? She's getting worse. Is she? Yes. Yes. It, it seems that way. Does she talk at all when she? Sometimes she she has moments of um, it's apparent lucidity, but I'm you know I, I'm not really what qualified. What does she talk about? Different things. Um, uh, nothing from her prior life, but she she does mention uh, things about the first one. The first one. The first one. I wrote that down, but I wasn't there. <laughs> um. um 
Yes. What, what do you think she's referring to? I've never heard of it. it it's. Uh, you have so many prophecies, not even. Yes, it, one things get mixed up. Uh, 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 oh, her okay. brain is mixed up. It's the one. It's the one thing that she keeps talking of is the the, the rising of the first one. Ah, I assume it's some sort of uh, symptom of her disease, but who knows? Who knows? Yeah. There's a world of mystery out there. Stupid. I've certainly never heard of the first one. The <laughs> yeah. Jersey driver has never heard of the first one. Methork, with all of his <laughs> knowledge, never heard of the first one. Are you and the Jersey driver close? It's somewhat, yes. We're, we have similar goals. What would that be? Well, to heal the princess, first of all. To, well, of course. Um, to bring the light of meth orc to the uh, people, but uh, apparently it's not turned out so well. <laughs> sounded really bitter. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, why don't I come back to your lab with you and we can uh, run the tests that we need? My wait, lab? Wait, we're, we're not taking it to their lab. Yeah, we're taking it to... Yes, I thought you had your friend. own lab that you were going to run things on. No, but I would love to see the test you have run. Just so we can know what we're working with. But we need the sample. You have the sample. Are you going to look at old samples? Yeah, yeah. we're going to look at old samples. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, well, it's it's a long walk from here. Oh, I'm young and full of energy. They are. Um, uh, yes, yes, I can take you absolutely to uh, um, the lab. Okay, so I'm going to tap on your guys' shoulders and... and uh, <laughs> 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 Laser! And then whisper very quietly, go. And then, and then I'm going to come over and tap on your shoulder. Huh. And you're coming with me. All right. I have the vial. Are you planning on taking this? Back. <laughs> Thanks. She's so insubordinate. <laughs> Wonderful. Let's go. Oh. All right. Um, uh, so yeah, we're uh, making a smart decision. <laughs> Split oh, I just party. rolled three twenties on this one. <laughs> Gotta bank them. Yeah. Let me know. Let me know what you want to use those twenties for. Gotta save them. Gotta I have two sitting em. here. So. You usually get dice as twenties. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever you guys want to make a roll, just let me know that you rolled we'll a twenty do. before. We'll do hundred percent. And and we can use that. Yeah. Oh, beat the game. Uh, we yeah. want to use that. Oh, oh, you won. <laughs> you won deep water deep. Yay! Yay! Yes, you're joining us now. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, so we will do this first. Okay. Um, uh, Shuffler 4211, you can tell without even sensing motive, uh, is a little, is a little kind of, uh, not quite sure what to do. Um, uh, I'm going to text well as we're walking. <laughs> what are you hoping you find? I'd send back a shruggy emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Proof. Of? I use telepathic message to say malfeasance. Get out of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> and then we keep walking. Yeah, you keep walking. Uh, eventually, <laughs> you arrive back at Shoveler 4211. Uh, Shoveler 4211's lab. Um, uh, it is it, it, blocked by a curtain. And um, she says, well, um, here we are. Um, right this way is the lab, and um, it's, it's, just don't touch anything. It's very sensitive oh. medical equipment. Uh, and yes, and so pushes the curtain open, steps inside. Uh, you are inside probably about, you know, the, say 15 by 15 foot room. Uh, awesome, I detect magic. <laughs> there's no magic in here. <laughs> At all? No. Magic's fake. <laughs> <laughs> Magic's not real. Um, yeah, there does not seem to be any magic. I cast detect mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> you you see no mushrooms. mushrooms. Are fake. No, oh. wait, they're real. <laughs> uh, but you do see a microscope. Mm. And a magic microscope? No, no. This is this is a very dated microscope. And um, she says, "Well, um, as as you can see, this is." This is what we have to work with, and so this is what we run our tests on the blood and the various samples from. Uh, take a look. Uh, it is, 
I, there's no lab equipment here. It's a microscope. I don't know. Now look at the microscope. Yeah, um, there's there's a little splot of blood on it, and you can see. Oh yeah, it's blood. <laughs> and you can increase the magnification, Ooh. and you can you know you can get down to where you can see like you know the, the clotting of it, and it's really very nice. So. Hmm. <laughs> and so I, as you can see, this was a sample that we drew from her uh, uh, probably about a month ago, and um, mm, you didn't refrigerate it or anything. Well, yeah, well, you know, this is <laughs> what we have to work with. So it's an entire kingdom running on like a third grade biology <laughs> classes like yeah. budget. <laughs> <laughs> um, but obviously, the, the the blood it you know it has changed color uh, from. From when we drew it from her, and that could mean any number of things. Where did you learn medicine? <laughs> um, uh, most most uh, most issues that that we come across, we're able to um, we're able to fix by giving herbs and and whatnot. Um, but this is this is something we've never experienced, and so we've been trying to build out this uh, this laboratory. I would love to see the herbs. I'm over pretenses. <laughs> no, but we have descriptions of the mushrooms. Do we? Yes, remember uh, Avatar gave it to us. He put it in our phones. I think we should just accuse her. I think that we should just ask <laughs> about the water. Malfeasance! <laughs> uh, so she brings you over to the herbs. There's no magic in it. Um, and it's actually, they have oh, a... Right. They have a collection of like serums and vials. Um, uh, actually, no, that wouldn't make any sense because you cast a tech magic and you didn't see anything. Um, but they don't appear to be magical. Um, uh, it's just, it's sort of old folk medicine. Um, Are you saying old folk med- medicine isn't magical? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and why did they burn witches? Boom. Yeah, good point. <laughs> good point. Can I um, look around there and see, like... Trap doors, secret passageways, extra rooms, like, you know. Mm, uh, yeah, give me, uh, uh, give me, I think that would be perception. I'm starting to think that's above their level of competency. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is a 23. 23, uh, you do not see any uh, hidden passages or hidden alcoves or anything of that nature okay, in here. Okay. Just a lot of crap laying around. So just like what we see is what we have. Yeah. In the prep yeah. station, I want to see if I recognize any of the mushrooms that uh, Fractured Avatar described to us. Um, you don't see any mushrooms there. Mostly it's like mosses and, and the whatnot. There's very little medicinal value in mushrooms. Right. Um, but she's been the one feeding the princess. Uh, mm. Can I see where you keep uh, the food stores for the princess? Um, th- those are back in the castle, but yes, absolutely. You good here? No. Do you think? Do you, do you wish more? <laughs> yes. What, what? How um, else can I help? So this water, hmm? this deep water, Oh, we it do. harms you. No, it doesn't harm you. Y- yes, it it's poisonous Sorry, to us. Sorry, I'm it's... trying to remember what species has what. <laughs> it harms you. Yes, that's the, what the, deep, the, the deep water has. is yes. highly toxic who, to the deep ones. Do you know anyone who is brave enough to go near it? Not, not in the city. No, of course not. No one has talked about going near the deep water. You haven't seen anyone go near the deep water recently. Well, sometimes you have to share a room with the deep water when you're traveling around, but um, nobody goes near it. It's it's incredibly toxic and dangerous. I understand. The closest source would be the one, the waterfall that we would have passed. On, uh, on, the, on the way to the surface. Yes. Y- yes, there is, there is one there. There are, there are several areas that we are known to have deep water. They're generally avoided. All right. Uh, wh- what are the consequences of, inge- of you ingesting deep water? Oh, I imagine death. I don't know. I, who would ingest deep water? We, can t- we can't even hold it and get near it. Okay. <coughs> it would be like dr- drinking a, a, a acid. All right. And for what was your relationship with Mythorc? I just got two more questions, folks. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, he was uh, the best god I think that we've ever had. Well, uh, frankly, um, <laughs> everybody just thinks he was the best god. <laughs> he was <laughs> really good. <laughs> well, he Kept was to himself. Oh, he was very this new kind. guy. He's just turning things around. He <laughs> was very kind. He listened to our problems. He seemed to know our problems before we even told him to. <laughs> Um, and he was, he gave good advice, 
he 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 trusted us. Were you in love with him? Us. I mean, as much as one could love a god. He, I have one last he question. Was far above me. That you might know because you were a doctor. Yes. Uh, last time I was near Driftstone, a great concentration of them hmm? started seeing things. Oh dear, I'm sorry. <laughs> What's your diagnosis of that as a doctor? Well, <laughs> I, I imagine if one is not frequently around drift rock or mm-hmm. does not have the biology of one who was raised with drift rock, then perhaps if you are exposed to drift rock at unusually high levels, it may um, cause. So, cause? It may cause um, madness. Potentially, I, right. I, I don't know. <laughs> Cer- <laughs> certainly, when we get close to, to deep water, it, um, you uh, sometimes hear voices, and sure, that's why we avoid it, like like the Dickens. Well, does it not seem that your princess is a little mad? Oh yes. Do you see what I'm getting at here? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think someone is giving her d- deep water? It would. It, we would know. It would burn Honestly, through her I body. Honestly, I thought it was you. Why would I do that? Because you're in <laughs> love with Methor. <laughs> what? This is insane. Well, Twilliam, Twilliam. <laughs> no, because you're in cahoots with Jordan Driver. Back. Back. <laughs> I can now see that it was not you. Oh, good. Mm. I would, I would, I wish. But I'm here to help the princess. I'm doing everything I can. I'm you sorry. Say, if if you had to guess that someone was giving the princess poisoned water. Who would it be? No one has access to the princess but me and my nurses. Then why does she have drift water in her blood? Because of her nurses. It just occurred well, to me. Well, uh, we have are her we, blood right here. What? Are, are we for sure sure that if we put our bracelets up to a regular deep one, it doesn't also react? They are like pretty, pretty deep stone adjacent most of their lives. <laughs> 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 we might have been working pretty hard on them. Mm. That's well, true. I guess Mira so. holds up her bracelet next to the I did, get, I did get anymore. legit. I did get legit magic off of her. Yeah, so. yeah. Uh, no, no, and we're yeah. not getting magic in this room. She she kind of recoils away. But never mind. Never mind. When you I do don't. well, when you do that, yeah, nothing do. happens. Yeah. Okay, so great. yeah, great, great. great. <laughs> just, just a thought. Put that at ease. Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, great. We need to talk to your nurses, and you can jump to their scene. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So let's let's go over here as you guys travel back to the hall. Well, as we're leaving the uh, hallway, I'll slip the ring off, and I'll start typing the message, which I'm sure you guys will find out very soon. Which you already have is that this guy is completely incompetent. <laughs> like, like, okay, it's it's basically the text is going to be something like this. It's going to be. I know I keep saying that everyone's underestimating the deep ones, but. For the first time, I kind of feel like maybe we were overestimating this. <laughs> <laughs> this doctor is a total sham. He knows nothing about medicine. Well, all right, should we get back to Fractured Avatar 13's lab? Yeah, as quickly as possible. Let's just call him Frack from now on. Call him Frack. <laughs> He'll like, just gonna be faster. He's gonna like that. I, yeah, I, I, that man knew nothing about medicine. Nothing. It was a woman. Oh, that woman. <laughs> that man knew nothing well, about Clearly, you knew nothing about her now. <laughs> Such deep voices. <laughs> that woman knew nothing about medicine. She, really? she was literally wringing the blood out of a rag into the syringe. That, that, all right, I'm not a doctor, but that does seem like incorrect procedure. It seems like anyone who was even pretending to be a doctor would know better than that. They, she knows nothing. She hasn't even seen medical television shows. They don't have any TVs down here. They... My God. <laughs> <laughs> Tragedy. <laughs> right, so, right, so yes, you arrive at, uh, at old Fracky's house, uh, mm. Fractured Avatar 15. Um, and, uh, Look, Fracky, pal! <laughs> uh, <laughs> buddy, hey, homie! Um, and he's like, oh, uh, did, you, did, you get, did you get the blood? I got a little bit. Can you do anything with this? Uh, <laughs> oh, you have a vial, too. Sounds like it was severely oh, contaminated. Right. Oh, I give it What's that. floating in yeah. there? Is it like it little might bits be, of cotton? Or? Yeah, some whatever fabric you guys are using. Uh, hemp Should you material. Just, How did that get in there? Did you, did you, what? The doctor... The doctor, she has no medic. She could not get blood. She was wringing blood out of her leg. Shovel She's a chief of medicine. Huh. What does that mean down here? Well, I mean, she inherited it, but I mean... 
She knows she's read wait, books. Wait, wait, that's, that's an inherited position. She inherited chief of medicine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Her father was the, the chief of medicine, and, and she and was they, next in line. I, they teach classes? She was, I mean, her dad was a very good. He was one of the best we've ever had. I just, it didn't look like she knew what she was doing at all. Well, all right. Um, uh, yeah, it looks like there's blood in here, so I can, uh, I can go ahead and test it. Whoa! Yeah, pretty bad. Whoa! Yeah. When, yeah, when, you see that lighting up? Yeah. You know what this little thing is? It's a... Uh, it's a it, we it, don't it, know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you never seen one of these before? Uh, yeah, it's a... Um, it, it's, a, it's a little... It's like a kind of a, a, a detector of, uh, uh, of of magic, I guess. So, uh, or, or, I don't know. It's a magic um, detector. You got to get things real close to it, and this little, this little light lights up. And that, that is lighting up real is it hard. Any kind of magic? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just any kind of magic. It's a, it's a neat little device I found. But these only that. respond to on a, on a Vesk ship, I think it was. Neat Vesk ship. Huh. Neat. Yeah, that is neat. So anyway, <laughs> look at that. Uh -huh. uh, did these... I'm a Vesk. I, I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> these uh, these bracelets only respond to uh, driftstone and deep water. Correct. Well, yeah, I mean, they, they, they react to the drift. I mean, that's one of the things that they do. There's many things that they do. Oh, okay. Do they respond to other types of magic? Um, yeah, well, I, not really. I don't know. I've never tested that before. Well, they responded to Pinkamiko. Really? Yes. I didn't know that. That's weird. <laughs> so, theories? Well, hmm. Yeah, look at that. So there's some kind of magic... And some kind of, mm, some kind of mushroom, magic mushroom. I don't know. Where could you find a magic mushroom? So you, yeah, there's mushroom in there. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't know. I have to. I'd have to do more tests. It would take a little bit longer for me to uh, see if this blood is tainted. And, and frankly, it's a little contaminated. So I don't know how good those tests would be. But uh, yeah, yeah. Well, the uh, the magic mushroom that you know of does it grow out of the deep water? Maybe. Huh. You're not sure where to find it? No, I... I mean, that... That would be... How would you even get a magic mushroom from it? Like, something growing in... Yeah. Huh. I mean, we could just walk out and get it. It doesn't hurt yeah, us. It's not <laughs> <good> for us. <laughs> huh. Yeah, I mean, certainly... That would explain a lot. Huh. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what. Uh, I can run some more tests on mm. this. But, uh... A mushroom growing in deep water. Yeah. Yeah. I bet you that would that would have some weird effects. Well, all right. <laughs> <laughs> sure sounds like it would. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting idea. I hadn't even thought of that. All right. Um, yeah. All right. Got you find those, those mushrooms. I, I, I never seen one before, but I haven't been out a whole lot. So uh, If we were to find one of these mushrooms that might be the culprit, would you be able to tell if it's the same type of magic, or is there any way to... Well, I imagine it would, uh, uh, yeah, I could run it over this thing here and see if it's, if most mushrooms aren't obviously magical, so... But I mean, this <laughs> ring also would make this go off, right? Whoa! Look at that! So it's basically just... It's a magic ring! Oh! How many of those you got? <sighs> just one. Okay. <laughs> well... impressive. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. It is impressive, sir. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that, guys. But yeah, you find me a magic mushroom, and uh, and uh, yeah, I could uh, run tests on it and see if that's what uh, is causing this whole problem. That makes a lot of sense, you know? Now, how would we find mushrooms around here? Do you have deep pigs who are <laughs> trained to sniff them out, or should we just kind of wander around until we find one? Well, I mean, you could ask the uh, Pathfinders. Uh, you know, they, they do a lot of missions and what not mapping out the tunnels and keeping an eye on things but uh that's uh that is uh dj regular's uh crew it's not a bad lead <laughs> all right see if they've seen any mushrooms growing in deep water i mean it that if anybody's gonna get close to a a, a bunch of deep water mushrooms it'd be the pathfinders they're the most courageous bunch did we see do i remember seeing any mushrooms in that giant cavern with uh with um oh like in the uh yeah amaryl uh, oh, 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 uh, back in, back in the, uh, or no, you, you did not see any, uh, Aramil's did not see any yeah. plant growth. It was all just water. Okay. All right. Well, maybe under the surface. Are... 
but you didn't really get a good look at that, so it was pretty dark in there too. All right. <clears throat> well, I guess we we leave the blood with him to analyze. Right? Yes. Yeah. He's gonna do his level best to try to figure out what the heck is going on. So again, I feel I like. Wanna... Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Oh no, yeah, you're fine. Uh, uh, because they're they're champing at the bit uh, yeah. over here. So um, uh, we'll flip back over to you guys. I think I've given you equal time. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right, so we're walking back because we wanted to meet with the nurses. Yes. Very, very, Carrie comes running up to you. Like, well, we're ready to leave now. Oh, it's only two of you. So, I, so I'll just keep waiting then. Huh? Yeah. Uh, I want to text 12. <laughs> I'll be yeah. over here. Uh, I'm going to text 12 real quick <laughs> and right. be like... Uh, Fair enough. Plenty of people seem to think that she is an accomplished medical personnel. Uh, Aeon guard. Okay. Um, as we're walking back, mm -hmm. I try to uh, perceive mm -hmm. on uh, uh, um, Shoveler 4211 any card. sort of Shoveler? technological device. That's not me. Okay. Could be. Could be. Trust me, no. Person. Shoveler on Shoveler 4211? Yes. Any kind of technological device? Any sort of technological device. Uh, well, 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 I'm, 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 I, like That's something with a computer chip in it, or something with uh, internal power. Anything. Like, I, I, like <laughs> just a device that yeah. that does anything. These like, people don't use technology, so I am looking for any piece of technology. Okay. Um, because there, it, it's yeah. All right. Uh, so what are you going to do to see? I mean, obviously Perceive. she has. She has some experience, you know, with, with like, the med kit and whatnot, the right. medical equipment. Um, so I'm looking for of a higher technology than that. Something that is, like, a smart device that would require some sort of power Any, to yeah. is that is that what you mean? Yeah. Because if, if it's going to be, like, you know, technology includes, like, a hammer. No, um, no. So, okay. Let's say uh, uh, cell phone or higher. Cell phone or higher. Hmm. Uh, and how, what are you going to do to, to perceive this? Just use say, my eyes. <laughs> Alexa, and see if anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, uh, so, yeah, give me a perception. Okay. Come on. Big big perception. Big perception. I'm going to move your stuff. Yeah, go for it. That's oh, a 19 yes. on the dice. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, plus two. So a 21. A 21. So you're looking oh. for devices uh, or something that would be on this person's body. Uh, wearing clothes. Um, so just from a simple observational uh, point of view, uh, looking at what this person is wearing, you do not see anything uh, cell phone or greater. Hmm. There's a lot of conditions to that statement. I know. <laughs> Um, simple observational view. <laughs> like perceiving what you were able to see, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. mysterious bulges, mm -hmm. uh, uh, little little <laughs> lights oh. that would be unexpected, <laughs> expected bulges. Uh -huh. um, uh, you see nothing, <clears throat> nothing of consequence. A telepathic message. Yeah. Don't seem. Don't see technology. I don't know why you're telepathically messaging me. I'm gonna have to text you back anyway. <laughs> it's probably easier for him though. <laughs> yeah, it is. it is. It is. Like, um, I hate you being in my brain. Um, <laughs> Get out of my brain. I send Your text you a, I thread is very one-sided. <laughs> I, I I send you a mental bit emoji of me sticking my tongue out. No. <laughs> uh, Mira. Gives you whatever this world's version of the bird is. Um, like three of those. Four of those, but she's got four arms. Um, and then she's going to say, uh, but there still could be a possibility, or should we, was, are we ruling out the theory? Delaying. Delaying. All right. Let's talk to these nurses. I'm going to have the biggest I told you so. If this turns out to be an Aeon guard. K. <laughs> you and Beck. All right, <laughs> let's, let's flip back over to these two. Yeah. Um, now. 
Is it just me, or is that guy only slightly less incompetent than the rest of them? <coughs> I feel like the base level of competency for Deep Ones is rather low. They gotta have something going for them. They... Anyway. Well, they're precocious, I guess. They are pretty precocious. <laughs> so, uh... Mushroom lead is the best thing I can possibly think of at this moment. Well, maybe Very Very Carrie would know where they are. Yeah, well, I guess we can go find him. How's right. it going, guys? <laughs> My theory is currently A on guard. Oh shit. I mean. Wait, who's, <laughs> who's A on guard? Uh, um, the, uh, the doctor. A on guard are usually good at things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but. These people are embarrassments. <laughs> going to talk to nursing staff. But if you're gonna run a con, you wanna look like you're incompetent at first, right? Absolutely. William Dean would know. <laughs> LOL, LOL, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best group chat. <laughs> um, G- GIF of Beck pointing gun. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a boomerang. Yes. Um, someone GIF that. <laughs> Actually, have a gun. Yeah. Like... Yes, I need that. Beautiful. Um, make it later. All right, All right. so. So you guys gonna all meet up then? <laughs> we gotta try to find Bar- very very carry. Yeah, we're yeah. going to the nurses. Okay, right. going to the nurses. Going to the nurses. Very very carry. Very very carry. Yeah. Okay. You find very very carry standing outside the castle, looking very confused, starting to lose momentum. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> what? I, I understood that there was some urgency. Yep. There's uh, there's always urgency. Question for you. Oh uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> have you seen any uh, types of mushrooms growing out of the deep water? Mushrooms in the deep in the deep water. Yeah. I, frankly, I avoid deep water when I can, but yeah. there is a Pathfinder. He's, he's frankly our bravest Pathfinder. Um, his name is Ohio Jeeper. Ohio Jeeper. That's a great name. He is our most experienced and bravest Pathfinder. Uh, can, uh, can we talk with him? Well, certainly. I mean, if he's around, he's usually out pathfinding, but... I can check to see if he's in the barracks. Do you only communicate with each other when you're in physical proximity? Do you have any? Oh no, we have we have the ability to uh, to speak through our minds to each other as well. Can you uh, can you get him for us? Oh, I hadn't thought of that. (laughs) Uh, Let me see if I can contact him. (laughs) These people are so bad at everything. All right, he's on his way. Oh, well, that was easy. Yes. Uh, like the Skype sound. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how, uh, how close is he? Oh, he's, he's about a, it's about a five minute walk to the uh, Pathfinder barracks. Five, five minutes, minutes everywhere. Yeah. yeah. You can get pretty much anywhere in deep water in five minutes. Or in um, the Eastern Conclave in about five minutes. Yeah. All right. It's cozy. We should set our expectations rather low. He says that he is the bravest and most competent of their pathfinders, which means he's probably a little less good at it than an average child. <laughs> right. Yeah, <laughs> I'm starting to be on your wavelength. Um, Who knows, we might be surprised. I, I hold out hope. Indeed, it would take very little to surprise me in this situation. <laughs> True. And as you were talking, um, you see... Uh, uh, you know, there's there's sort of a crowd always gathered around you, kind of looking at what you're doing. Um, and they look back and they kind of part ways. And then you see an impressive figure um, uh, wearing a, a, a dope-ass trench coat. Um, nice. And uh, uh, he, he kind of, like, strides confidently. <laughs> Doesn't, like, trip over his trench coat or anything. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right. The trench coat kind of billows. Uh, well, but color me surprised. <laughs> <laughs> but he approaches and he <laughs> nods at Very Berry Carry and goes, Very Berry Carry. This guy's cool. I like him. <laughs> I assume these are the chosen ones. Ohio Jeeper. Yes. We hear you're the bravest. Uh, you hear right. <laughs> uh, a couple questions for you. If All we right. can cut straight to the chase. Please do. Uh, have you seen any types of mushrooms growing in the deep water? Mushrooms in the deep water? Hmm. Yeah, I've seen those. Can you take us there? Yeah, I can take you there. All right. Uh, how far is it? Let's see. 
about a five minute walk. <laughs> <laughs> nice! Um, nice! Love it. <laughs> well done. Yeah, we're gonna need to, uh, we're gonna need to hop into a drift passage. It's an old drift passage. It's <laughs> pretty damn dangerous, frankly. Hey. I'm the only one that's been in for the last five years. All right, we're not worried. Drift water doesn't burn us, <laughs> yeah, so yeah. less dangerous. Tentacles are a little grabby, but you know how that is. We're yes, we to. do. Yeah. All, right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I can bring you there. Could have to check in with the boss man, but he pretty much lets me do what I want to do. All right. Uh, if you can, be ready. We might be heading out as early as 15 minutes, 20 All minutes. All right. Well, I'll be in the barracks. I'm in between missions right now, but it sounds like you guys are doing something important and I want in on it. It's big. <laughs> it's real big. Yeah. Sounds big. All right. All right. See you soon. Be in touch. And then he spins around. Overkill kind of buffets. <laughs> and then he walks back. Oh, I uh, like that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Such confidence. <laughs> uh, and we'll cut back over to <laughs> you guys. With the nurses. Well, you are with the nurses presently. And Shoveler. In the room? Shoveler, uh, yes. Uh, Shoveler followed behind, because Shoveler, what the hell else is Shoveler going to do? Okay. Big things are happening. Uh, so we would like to uh, have everyone in one little room. We're going to do a parlor scene, basically. A parlor scene? <laughs> I'm gonna let me get my voices ready. I'm oh, God, it's 11, and I can't talk. It's I'm okay. going to let uh, 12 lead. I'm going to go stand by the door. Perfect. I was going to say you want to stand by the yeah, door. I got you. <laughs> um, all right. Well, yeah, the other nurses are a little confused, but uh, it's okay. Yeah, it, it, it's fine. They're just going to ask us a, what, a couple of questions. Uh, yeah. And... My uh, first question is: uh, Do I detect any magic? Do you detect any <laughs> magic? <laughs> no. None whatsoever. None whatsoever. Telepathic message. Oh crap! <laughs> <laughs> no magic. Uh, Doesn't mean anything. They yeah. could be bringing the water in, or they could be bringing the mushrooms in, or whatever their source of poisoning is from any other room. Talk, ask them about where their main points mm -hmm. of I don't know food preparation are, such as stuff like that. So everyone in this room is, uh, are the only people who have uh, provided food or drink to the princess. Is that correct? Uh, yes, that that is correct. This is, these are my trusted nurses. So um, I'm going to need each of you to turn out your pockets. All right. <clears throat> um, uh, they do so. Um, there's gauze and whatnot in there. There's pencils, uh, but uh, does not seem to be anything magical. Um, St and still like bloody. Magic. Where's her? Yes, and, and, her and, and, and a bloody rag. Where is her food prepared? Period. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I was looking for. Uh, You're doing great, sweetie. Thanks, thanks, mom. Uh, yeah, no, I wanted to see, like, you know, any food residue or anything like that, you know, like... All right, um, certainly we can, we can take you to, to where we prepare her meals, um, if you want to walk this way. And, uh, Shoveler4211 takes you, do you want to bring the nurses with you? Oh, yeah. Or, yeah. okay, the nurses trail along behind. Mirror very hurts. skillfully and adeptly, because that's what nurses are. They're very skilled and adept. Oh, well. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they can at least hold someone down. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, they, and it takes you over to... So uh, could, like, manacles. <laughs> the, uh, it's just a, uh, like, kitchen, essentially, um, where, where the food is prepared. And I think, well, this is... We, we have to chop it up quite finely so she doesn't... A choke on it, but. Uh, yeah, definitely want to check like the pantries and you know cabinets mm. and mm. you know mm. really just making a mess, and spilling wow. oats and wow, things wow, and... um, th is that necessary? Yes. C uh, can I help you find something? What What are you looking for specifically? I'm looking for mushrooms. Oh um, well, <laughs> he's a teenager. He's dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Um, we. I don't think we give her mushrooms. Uh, 
I it's want mostly... to sense your motive. <laughs> All right. Uh... <laughs> what a hard ass. <laughs> well, hold <Roma>. on. <laughs> uh, this is where it is, and that is where that is, and that is what that means. What is your sense motive? Roll. Oh, shit. That's yes. a natural 20. <laughs> natural 20? There it is. Uh, I didn't save it or anything. This you is, rolled in the thing. This is sense motive on uh, the doctor, correct? Let's um, just say it's on all of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we'll go with doctor. It's fine. The doctor uh, says, I, I don't think I've ever fed, um, I've never fed her mushrooms. She doesn't eat mushrooms usually when we give her oats and moss and things that we normally eat, but mushrooms, they're very nice, but she's telling the truth. Nurse number one. Uh, Nurse number one. While, while Joel is interrogating, uh, I'd like to find the, pick pick the oldest one okay. of these uh-huh. people. Uh-huh. Beat the crap pull, out. <laughs> pull her that aside. Is okay. So <laughs> we're out of earshot of most people. Okay. Um, and I'd like to say, how long have you been with the Deep Ones? Hey, you know, I've been working here for uh, eh, probably like uh, you know two years. Oh, you mean how long I've been working here, or uh... in general, how long have you known the doctor? How long have you been with the deep ones? Aren't they a deep one? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've been a deep one my whole life. But uh... <laughs> no, 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 I mean, like, 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 how long have you been? Working how long have I been working with Shoveler Four Two One One? Well, uh, I mean, I started my apprenticeship uh, probably about uh, I don't know a year ago, two years ago, something like that. And you're the one who's been here the longest, would you say, or would you say you've? Yeah, I've been here for a while, you know? All right. I got some pretty good connections. All right. And, uh, My question is, is, has the doctor been weird lately? I mean, no more than normal. I don't know. Would you she's call, a little kooky. She's a little kooky? Has she always been kooky? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, and But, you know, she does a good job. Does she's she? done a good job keeping the kid alive, I think. It seemed like my understanding is that she's not the best. Oh, no, no. She's great. She? She's one of the best doctors we've ever had. <laughs> Sadly, best. Is a My dad loves her. Term. <laughs> <laughs> best might be a very relative term here. Yeah. Um, My dad says she's the greatest. Yeah. Who's yeah. your dad? Oh yeah, you you already met him. He's the Jersey driver. Ah, nepotism. <laughs> That'll do it. That'll do it. Um, all right. Uh, but you would consider her a very competent person. Oh yeah, she's the best. Got it. And you've been impressing her for a year. Yeah. How long has the princess been sick? I don't know, about uh, three months or so. I see. Did anything happen three months ago? I don't know. Is that when your father started telling you to put mushrooms in her food? (laughs) (laughs) Twelve. Is that what you say? Yes. We're going good cop, bad cop now. Hard boiled. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah? I think the natural one thinks <laughs> otherwise. <laughs> it's the magical dice roll that makes things happen. No, it's a 17. Oh, it's, a okay. it's a 17. Yeah. Hold on. Wait, what, so what is, what is the, you're going to sense motive? I assume that's what that yeah. is. Yeah. For me, it's, um. <laughs> what is that? Uh, 24. It's a 24? Uh-huh. Subtle cop, blunt, blunt cop. Wait, <laughs> hold on. You roll the 24? I rolled roll the one. <laughs> oh, you roll the one. <laughs> Okay. Tool's getting a little caught up in it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you are positive that... Wait, which one of us? <laughs> Twill, you are positive that um, you have just fingered... <laughs> in police terms. You can say that, yeah. You have fingered the wrong guy. Gal. Person. Person. <laughs> He's falling apart. Um, we can call him. Yeah, yeah, you... Uh, you, you you're, this is this is this is wrong. This person is on the up and up, and you realize that when you see that look in in her eyes, and you're like, "Oh yeah, oh she could never do this." My God, and she's beautiful. <laughs> you, however, <clears throat> you felt you it. know that this is absolute crap, <laughs> and this person is hiding something. Amazing. And go. Hey, <laughs> uh, what was your name? Huh? What was your name? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah it's uh, it's a uh, uh, Sally. <laughs> That's Sally four two three three. There we go. That, that no buzz. Um, I'm gonna text you guys to come down to the kitchen. Where were we? 
We were talking with. We, we you were outside talking, talking to. Uh, okay, so we're, we're, we're not like out doing something important. Yeah, we, so. no, 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 no. We're, we're dropped, waiting for them to leave anyway. So oh, just get your that pencil real quick. Yeah, we just finished talking to Ohio Jeep, so we'll head down to the kitchen there. Okay, Sally. I Four think she two, didn't do it. <laughs> you just fell in love. You just fell in love, my son. Non-binary child. Non-binary child. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, uh, I, I, You're I don't even know. I don't even know where to buy mushrooms, much less you know poison mushrooms. All right. What about you, next nurse? <laughs> <laughs> Twelve. How far? I mean, Will, how far are you? About five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yes! That's exactly how far we are. Hey, look, uh, if we're done here... No, we're uh... not done here. <laughs> we're not? We're not? <laughs> what? Oh, we're not. Well, just, just go interrogate <laughs> What about you, nurse no, number no, three? Oh, I've seen everything! I've seen everything. My best nurse! Tell me a little bit about yourself. What do you want to know? <laughs> Methorp's gone. Yeah, I heard about that. He was great. He's yeah. one of the best gods we ever had. <laughs> Tell me about Dare his Dare I say the best god. The best god? Do you remember yeah. the other gods? Ah, uh, they weren't that great. What made them not great? I don't know. They were boring. Yeah. <laughs> just like, you know, they just wanted to like hang out and eat food all day. And, Escape. Uh, Methor, he really <laughs> helped us. You know, he was, uh, he was kind, he was gentle, he listened to us. Wanted to do something? He kept huh? giving sermons about how you can't cage yeah, your god up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 about freedom and the importance of freedom. It was really great. Yeah, yeah. the importance of freedom. <laughs> do you ever think about going over up to the surface? Oh, why would I do that? Everything I need is down here. <coughs> you just said freedom, I wondered. Nah, I mean, you know, it'd be interesting, but uh, I got everything I need here. My whole family's here. Mm -hmm. It's great. Harkle's great. Oh, yeah, she's, you know. No, I don't. I'm very new. Tell me about her. <laughs> She's good. She's, you know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Pretty good. good. She's good? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah, she's good. I think you guys probably arrived. Yeah, we show right. up. Yeah, <laughs> five minutes later. Uh, I'm going to text you. Mm -hmm. I think this one's hiding something. Which one? The one that I'm talking to. Okay. But I text you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Are you still talking to the one yeah, yeah. twelve fell in love with? I no, thought you moved no, yeah, on. Yeah, and I'm talking to the one yeah, no, I moved fell in love with. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Got it, got it. Yeah, yeah. And this is uh, this is this is Allie. Oh, right. Sally. 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 Jersey Sally. Sally. Four two three three. Right. This is Sally four two three three. This is Jersey Driver's daughter. Mm -hmm. Should we play good cop, violent cop? <laughs> <laughs> I'd love good Try cop, violent cop. Try to play cop. nice people for once. I can't believe I just typed that. Out. <laughs> um. <sighs> Hey. So you're, yeah. Hey. Uh, hey. Hey. Hmm? How are you? Doing all right. Yeah. Doing good. Getting a little weirded out here, but. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, there's no need good. to be alarmed. It's Just, all good. Uh, all right. Everything's cool. Yeah. Just be calm. Everything's cool. You know. Uh huh. So. Meth orc <clears throat> disappeared. So we're all just trying to figure out. Okay. Yeah. How to move on. You yeah. Are, you my, wanna... my my dad should be here soon. Oh yeah. Who's who's your dad? Meth orc. Or no. Uh, Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Twist. The Jersey driver. Okay, he's. Uh, oh, that's mom. <laughs> he's coming. Jersey driver is a woman. Is is the so so Jersey driver is a man. Oh, it's a man. Okay, my yeah. bad. What 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 does your dad think about meth orc? Huh? What does your dad think about meth orc? Uh, he loves meth orc. He, you know, he discovered meth orc. Essentially, nice sense motive he created on that? meth orc. Huh? Can I sense motive on that? Sure. He created meth orc. He created meth orc. Uh. Well, he made it. Twenty-two. A, uh, twenty-two. Uh, she's telling the truth. Okay, got it. Hey, uh, do you wanna do you wanna chat with me for a minute? <laughs> <laughs> oh God, Captain! Um, hey, come here, come here. Let's let's, let's, let's get away go? from all this for a second. No, it's cool. It's cool. Everybody stay here. What's what sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, what a day, right? Should we let the other nurses go? Well, it's... <laughs> Captain. Yeah, I know that. Can't tell you what to do, but try keeping your pads for a couple seconds. <laughs> I got it. Don't worry. <laughs> all right. Just trust your old faithful captain. <laughs> Yeah. I agree with that. I mean, it's, you know, we, we're certainly going to have to recover from meth work, but we've lost gods in the past, you know, we'll rebuild. Yeah. So, uh, no, you're a, you're a very resilient people. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. can see that just in you, actually. I can oh. tell. Thank you. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, man. Do you, hey, I'm kind of hungry. Do you, uh, you know of any good places around here? Like, you know any good places that serve, like, some really good, like, sautéed mushrooms or anything like that? So, well... 
I mean, we, you know, we, we sometimes eat mushrooms. They, 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 you know, I don't, I don't even touch mushrooms personally. But you know, is the, this true? Hmm? <laughs> you, you, you can sense motive. Sense motive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I sense motive too. Beck has just been staring daggers. <laughs> like, mm. <clears throat> That's a seventeen. Seventeen. That's Beck. a twenty-six. Okay, she's lying. She definitely is touch washroom. <laughs> hey. Hmm? Um, I need you to tell me why you're lying to us. I... I... It's okay, you can tell me. I... Mira put the hand on her blaster. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... I don't... Where's I don't... my diplomacy? <laughs> I um, it's okay, you can, you can tell me, alright? It's... <clears throat> whatever it is. Hey, what's going on over here? You hear. Ah! Keep talking to her. And you see the Jersey I'm, driver. I'm gonna try standing to... with several of his disciples. Uh, I would like Will to keep trying to talk to her. I mm-hmm. would like to try and distract Jersey driver. You guys messing with my daughter, huh? Not at all, sir. All right. Well, I'm getting her the heck out of here. Well, this oh. is well, this is purely just we're just talking to everyone. It, yeah, I'm getting her the heck out of here. You guys got to stop messing with my daughter. Do you want to well, come talk with us? You can come talk with us too, Jersey. No, 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 no. This ends here. This ends here. What ends? That's we're that's just that's talking. That's no, we're all done. You guys are out. You're out. We're all right, out. let's get those other nurses out of here. And okay. I, I, I push the nurses out to block the guards that he's or the yes. disciples he's yeah. come with. Yeah. Uh huh. You see that the disciples are armed. Okay, Please, but uh, I'm using. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, your armaments amuse me. <laughs> <laughs> and I step forward uh, with their knives. Are you intending to threaten us? I'm just here for my daughter. Oh, because I've been bored all day. <laughs> Let's all calm down. Like, first of all, um, what authority do you have to kick us out? The, the, the Har- Harkle has given me the authority to is, get you the heck out of here. Is Harkle here? Can we get... I think Harkle might have something to say about this. We don't take orders from you. Look, he, he, he looks at calm. his guards. Let's all just go and talk. He looks yeah. at his guards. He looks nervously at you guys. I mean, you don't have anything to hide, right? Look. I say you go for it. (laughs) (laughs) And you see some twitchy fingers. Nothing has to happen here. And that's where we're going to end it for today. I was trying to think of a good, like, one-liner, but it'll all have a week to think of it. Oh, gosh. Okay. All right. Thank you guys so much. Sorry we went a little bit long today. Um, we but you. but we love you guys. Yeah. We want to give you all the content. So thank you guys for joining us tonight. Um, uh, join us again next week, and we can finish up with what happened here, and possibly everything that has happened in the Eastern Conclave. That's my goal, at least, and I think Ooh. we can do it. Hooray! Um, so um, so yeah. Uh, uh, tomorrow, just going to some uh, several quick announcements for those of you who are still with us. Uh, uh, try to join us for Starfinder Wednesday with the illustrious Dan Tharp. I don't know who his guests are or what he's doing, but you know it's going to be a good time because it's Starfinder Wednesday, A, and B, it's Dan Tharp, and we all love Dan Tharp. He's good people. What's not to love about the Dan Tharp? Dan Tharp? Um, uh, On Saving Throw tomorrow night, we also have Iron Keep Chronicles in their (laughs) final season. If you've never seen Iron Keep Chronicles, well, you're missing out, Mm -hmm. and it is their last season, and this is your last chance to watch that magical crew do magical things. Um, And that is after Starfinder Wednesday, so you can watch both of them. Um, Also on Wednesday is the show Pungeon Crawl. Um, uh, starring several <laughs> illustrious people, also on uh, official Paizo. Again, that ends before Iron Keep, so you can watch Starfinder Wednesday. Hop right over to Pungeon Crawl. Finish your night up with with, with uh, Iron Keep Chronicles. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. It's wonderful. Do your homework. Embrace of Do your yes. homework on the bus ride. Yeah, it's wonderful. <laughs> it's just nonstop streaming. It's good stuff. Um, and uh, then this Friday, of course, we are going back to uh, on on Saving Throw. We have. Um, the next episode of Wildcard starring Jordan Pritchett. If you like what you saw from Jordan Pritchett tonight, and why the hell wouldn't you? There's other people uh, too. Yeah, there's other people. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, but you know, Jordan's going to be there, and, and they're all good. It's it's a fantastic show. So check out Wildcards, uh, the new season of Wildcards. East and, Texas um, University. East Texas. Go University. Ravens. Yeah, go Ravens. Anybody have any quick quick plugs, quick yeah, shout outs that you want to throw? 
Sunday. Oh, next, yes. Uh, next Tempting Fate game. Uh, oh, boy. Thanks for all of y'all who joined us and watched a Gungan face off Darth Vader. That was pretty amazing. <laughs> um, so this, the only more shenanigans on the next Star Wars run uh, this Sunday. So come watch it. Yeah, us. Tempting Fate is a, a bonkers show. It's it a lot of fun. Yeah. Can, can we mention... Mm -hmm. uh, oh, also, okay. Monday uh, is the return of the Broken Pact, oh. which is the uh, on um, Twitch.tv slash D&D. It is our, uh, Saving Throws uh, Ravnica slash Dungeons and Dragons show, and that's coming back Monday. Yep. Oh, and that's the first episode back, right? Yep, it's season the first two. episode back season two. And season one two. of your cast members, a uh, certain uh, player in my oh, yes. Doctor Who podcast... I think so. Oh, Riley? Riley? Yeah. Oh, yeah. look at that transition. If you like to hear more role playing, uh, you can download the game of Rassilon, the Doctor Who role playing game that I play a companion on, and Riley is the Doctor. Uh, two episodes are currently available. And if you're going to be in Los Angeles next weekend at Gallifrey One, the Doctor Who convention, we will be doing our very first live show with this cast. Um, so if you're at Galley, uh, just check out my social medias. I'm going to be spamming the heck out of it for the next week and change. Uh, additionally, this coming Thursday, if you want to download the Nerd On podcast, I am the guest on it, and I talk about these lovely people and this lovely game and Yay. lots of RPG stuff. Uh, that's this coming Thursday. You can download it on uh, most uh, you know podcast places. <laughs> Anywhere you get your podcast. Nice. Cool, cool. I have nothing to plug, Jesse. Over yeah, uh, just, just we got our Twitter still, Jesse A. Durant for me, and then uh, Captain Will Dean. We've got the uh, Twill Seeker, of course. And what is your Starfinder Mira? Starfinder Mira, right? Starfinder Mira. So Check some shenanigans, and also there should be a link to the Discords if you want to <clears> join up. Join up. Yeah. Fun yeah. yeah. stuff. Tell us what you thought of this episode. We pop in there quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. 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 I know. I, I, I suck at getting in the Discord. I, I feel so bad. Like people, well, you, you should. Try you. I'm trying. I'll do it yeah. daily. I don't know. I'm bad at it. Yeah, but anyway, guys. People posting stuff for us. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh God, it's so cool. The stuff that you guys have yeah. have put in that. People making the Lego ships for us. Harkel, is it? Yeah, it's Harkel. Harkel, great. Chief Harkel. Chief Harkel. You can call. You can call him Chief Harkel. Yep. Um, so yeah, uh, that's going to be it for us tonight. So we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Love you. Bye. See you guys. Bye. 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 Bye.